Hello, hello. How you doing, Diorio? Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. <coughs> All right. So, today, I'm going to be doing a uh, Anoita daily run, and uh, I am going to put a little twist on it. Um, we are going to make sure that we go and acquire the Frozen Vault Orb, which should be... Uh, I mean, it's a very dangerous place. There, there's all sorts of really spooky enemies there. So, uh, yeah, it, it should spice up the run a little bit. Could be a little bit scary, but I, th I think we'll be okay. Uh, Godsend, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, no worries. Okay. So, so yeah, that's going to be the game plan today. We are going to try and make this daily happen. And uh, it should be good. I'm, I'm excited to see how it goes. Okay, let me set this thing up and we'll get back into our, our main screen here. I've been... Uh, I don't know, I've been, I've been like really eager to just like get going right at the start. I used to never have like a, a starting screen, a starting soon screen or anything like that. And I just immediately start streaming right away. Um, but a lot of people would like miss the start of a run when I did that. And I don't know, I like it. The thing about my stream is I always want something interesting to be going on, ideally. It's, it's, it's tricky to balance that, but... Yeah, that, that's kind of my goal. How you doing, Dr. Cran? Welcome on in. Good to see you. How are you doing today? Oh, man. I'm, I'm excited to do the daily. I'm excited for some Nemesis. And I'm also excited to play some Super Auto Pets a little bit later. Um, yeah, I, I, there's a couple of games that I'm really wanting to play right now. There's Rain World. Salt and Sacrifice is high on that list. I'm going to go uh, to the bank tonight and cash a few checks. So that way I can actually uh, make sure I can grab that because that that'll be a lot of fun either that or i need to find a way to like contact clara or something i need i need to like dm one of the people who just like has control over every video game key ever and just be like hey i'm a streamer give me key give me give key please although i, I don't know if that's how that works there, there's like this stream key website but they kept offering me just like really awful games and i i just stopped entirely with it I'm like this is this is just a waste of time. It's it's real dumb. Key for what? Uh, Salt and Sacrifice came out uh, very recently, Doctor Crayon, and my channel was literally built on Salt and Sanctuary um, five or six years ago now, probably. It was uh, it was like the first full playthrough I ever did. Come here, Steam friend code. Oh, you you don't have to you don't have to gift it to me, uh, Doctor Crayon. Also, it's on Epic. I don't even think gifting works on there. So don't don't worry about it, Dr. Cram. Yeah, I'll I'll be able to manage to, to set it up. Um, okay. So let, let's go ahead and jump into gameplay, shall we? Um, let's see here. But yeah, it's it's so weird that like Epic sniped it somehow, but it probably means that there's probably like a lot more money in it for the developers, which is the most important thing in my eyes. I, th I think the most important thing is to, just to like support indie devs like a ton, you know? Ye master, Noita Batchest. Why, why is Noita Batchest? Ye master, you serious? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and launch this daily. Let's see what we can do. Uh, you think, yeah, Salt and Sanctuary is, uh, the, uh, the original. I have bought that game, like, four times. Uh, alright. Let's head over this way, shall we? So this is, hang on, I gotta cut the, the music. There we go. Yeah, so, uh, this is the daily. Our only objective, other than win, is going to be, um, go to the Frozen Vault and acquire a um acquire the orb from said vault and uh yeah it's it's a very very dangerous location with a couple of unique enemy spawns uh the sur uko can actually spawn there so that, that's obviously one of the most dangerous enemies in the entire game uh, especially depending on what sort of resistances you hold um i, I guess if, if you're like electric and explosion immune it's really not that big of a deal but um, I, I think under normal circumstances, it's a very, very scary enemy. 
and there's a decent chance of us running across it. Not to mention, um, exploring regions like that with projectile-rich zones with a lot of enemies, it's a very easy way to take a ton of damage, and, um, yeah, there, there's just, like, a lot of things that can go wrong. So, we're gonna have to play pretty well, I think. Noita is goaded, underrated game. I agree, I think it is a very underrated game. Although, I, I do think that, uh, there are, like, a lot of larger streamers and lar larger content creators now that have, like, given the game some pretty good recognition. M maybe not quite what it deserves, but a lot closer to what it might deserve, you know? Uh, so at, at least there's that. I, I do take a, some small amount of solace with, uh, with that fact. Okay, we're gonna pour out this chaotic polymorph and we're gonna get some water. We're taking a lot of damage. And I would like to be able to utilize, um, you know, water or blood or whatever the hell we can fill this flask with. No, it is being milked by aliens. What do you mean? No, that's a lot of damage. What do you mean I'm, I'm milking the game? I mean, I am trying to, like, squeeze every last piece of content out of it, if that's what you mean. Make sure that we, uh, we have properly completed everything. But that said, I don't think this is a game that can ever truly be completed so long as there's things like mods being added in. Let me shoot these two guys. Oh, he survived. There we go. How is this guy still shooting? There we go. Headshot. I, I can't believe... Wait, why does that do 50? Is it a 1 point... It's a 1.5 times damage modifier on disc projectile. I think that's how that works. But yeah, how, how have you been doing, Yeet Master? I feel like it's been a little while. What have you been up to? Shoot all these guys. Beautiful. Whoa, there's a lot more of them than I thought. Okay, good stuff. I gotta be careful not to shoot myself with any of this stuff. 38 life is not a lot to play with, so I'm gonna have to play a little bit better. <laughs> oh, man. So, so last night uh, was Michaela's, you know, like, the fake or, like, early birthday because we, we wanted to... You know, make sure we had some time to celebrate, because her birthday is, like, on Saturday. Which means that we wouldn't really be able to do much, because that, that's just Saturdays for us. Um, so we, we ordered some Tongdak chicken, and we, we played a bunch of video games. We, we played, um, Fall Guys, which has held up surprisingly well. Like, I'm very impressed. Um, they're, they're coming back to it after not playing it for a long time was really fun, because... There's just, like, a million new games, and, like, it, opponent players are, like, actually good now. So, like, you, you actually have to be a, a very skilled player. And, um... Yeah, the, all of the, the games that they had were, like, fucking cool as hell. Uh, th there was, like, maybe one annoying game out of all of them. And it, it wasn't even that bad. But, like, lots and lots of obstacle courses is, is what they, they've, like, really transformed the game into. Which is a good thing, in my opinion, because I think that was the, the strongest game type that they created by, like, a lot. Um, so, yeah, we, we did a bunch of that. And then once the queues died down because everybody went to bed, we, we ended up swapping over to Dead by Daylight for a while, which is, like, Michaela's favorite game, which is pretty cool. Uh, you've been playing Factorio, League of Legends, and also schooling. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I mean, the school, very important. League of Legends is, uh, as long as you're having fun with it, that's the important part. Same thing goes for Factorio. Uh, you're gonna con congrat yourself for being followed here for almost two years? That is quite a while, you've Master. It's a decent amount of time. Let me shoot these guys. Beautiful. We're up to 382 gold, which isn't a ton to play around with. Let me sneak this over here. Beautiful. I gotta try and get some of this gold, but I also am, like, very wary of taking any additional damage on top of what I already have. Here we go. Do one of these. Oh, man. So, uh, anybody else who's been uh, hearing about my my game and its, its updates and whatnot, um, Alter Uko sent me yet another little update demo uh, last night. And it is insane. It is so incredible that the way the game has changed. Uh, no, Master, I've been streaming for six years. So, that, not by a long shot, actually. Wow, this frog is aggressive. Uh, you've been back on, uh, a Minecraft throwback for, uh, the past few days? I'm assuming that's Minecraft, right, Dr. Cran? 
Yeah, you master. I've been I've been a very long time streamer. It's just that um, you know, it, it, it's it's one of those things where uh, eventually you find a game that clicks with you, and you know that your audience starts to grow, all that sort of thing. Um, I'm really hoping they're all dead there. Caught on fire a little bit. Uh, gotta go though. No worries. Have a good one, you master. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate that. I'll catch you later. Let me shoot these guys and or tablet them. It's really unfortunate whenever the tablet doesn't give me like the, the proper value. Wow, that frog was like way out of where it should have been. That's really unusual. I think we're going to leave because uh, eternal darkness on this area is kind of bad. But the fact that we did get eternal darkness to proc over here means that it's not going to proc on the next floor, which is actually really nice. Um, we we kind of get to completely nullify that really shitty biome modifier by placing it there. Um, I'm not entirely certain how the biome modifiers work, but I know it's something along that line. We've got a uh, sea of acid, which means that uh, the uh, master of masters would actually be really easy if we could make our way over there, um, which might be easier said than done. But um, overall, okay luck. Lack of uh, HP pickups on the first floor is kind of bad. As far as dailies go, this is like pretty darn bad and or like even just not good at all. But that doesn't mean that we can't turn it around. Um, there's a greed. I, I think at this point greed is uh, a pretty viable choice. And we're going to use acid to dig our way out of here because I don't oh know. Um, he's stuck on a thing. There we go. We did take one hit there, but uh, it wasn't too bad. But yeah, we're, we're going to use the acid to dig out of here, so that way I can actually uh, come back and edit. You know how important that uh, that first floor is. Um, being able to edit off of the first floor is huge. Sea of Acid is a spell that I've, I've really come to appreciate and respect. It's weird because forever it's just been a complete garbage spell that does literally nothing. It's very strange. Um, let's see here. I'm just gonna make sure that my Discord uh, message went out and everything. It feels like it's a little bit quiet in here today. But m maybe everybody's busy with something else and I don't know about it. It's also quite possible. Yeah, okay. Just, just, uh, just lurking today, chat, huh? Nothing wrong with that. Uh, I will just continue talking to myself. Oh, there's Suicider. Uh, how are you doing, Suicider? Welcome on in. Good to see you. Uh, let's do one of these, and we'll keep this set up like so. And there's CK with the, the, the little caplet. And Belbrith, hello, hello, hello. I apologize, I didn't mean to take everybody out of their lurk. <laughs> that, was not, that was not my intention. Or, or maybe everybody's just getting here now, I'm not sure. There we go. <laughs> You're here, well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, you literally just got here. Yeah, I was, I was wondering why it was, why it was so quiet today. CK. It might have something to do with me being 10 minutes late, but if I, if I had to guess. Um, but also, maybe just because I, uh, I don't know, may, maybe the alerts didn't go off right. I don't, I don't, I don't know. You, know. you never, you never know, right? Okay, let me murder this guy. Beautiful. That was actually a really clean tablet kill. Um, yeah, it's Bubble Sparks on a trash wand. Well, we. How you doing, Ross Vault? Welcome on in. What what is that emote? Oh my goodness! That reminds me of uh, like some there, there's like a goofy comic strip thing that I've I've seen that looks very similar to that art style. You're many weeks late. Uh, like I uh, noticed these things. Yeah, but yeah, of course, CK. Uh, finished the late shift and enjoying my chicken kebab. Nice, suicider. That sounds wonderful. I love me some chicken. We we had some really good chicken last night. In the form of uh, that, that Tongdak chicken. We got, we got the, some Goma and uh, Ga, Ganyang, I think, was the other one. And yeah, they were both delicious. One one was real garlicky, and the other one's like a, a little bit spicy. Um, I gotta say, every, each with each time I have Goma, it, it it's not that it tastes worse. It's just that it doesn't taste quite as delicious as the first time. It's, it's almost like we need to, like, eat some worse chicken in order to enjoy the, the good chicken again. And I don't really know what the <laughs> what the solution is. 
My goodness. There's uh, quite the set of explosions that happened over here. I could hear it. Y you really want to try and catch those explosions ahead of time in these biomes because uh, where wherever there's like a massive chain reaction explosion, that tends to mean there's like a bunch of gold that just came into play and will go away. So that's a bit of a thing. Uh, my friend does emotes, and that's one from her channel. It's really there, there's some impressive pieces of art there, Oswald. It's really cool. I, I love the, how unique the style is. That, that's something that I, I get like a little bit peeved by when I when I see um, like oh I'm a, an emote artist, and it's just like always the exact same like super round cartoony faces, and it's just like. That's cool, but like everybody has that now, so I don't know. I feel like I want something different. Do one of these. But that that said, um, the reason why it's such a popular style is because it's um, it's probably a little bit quicker to make, and it's very clear. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's it chibi the the chibi emote style. I, I think that's the word, and that's the one half row. It's highly legible. Yeah, there's there's nothing wrong with it. I want to point that out. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that I, I want to be different. <laughs> that's that's my thing. I'd rather my emotes not look like everybody's. Uh, you, you should be able to recognize uh, an emote and be like, oh, it's from that channel, right? Like, that that's, that's an important thing. Man, there's big explosions going on around here. It's kind of fun. Kind of a good time. Let me see if I can jump up here and take a look at this thing. That is a juicy wand. I think that's going to be my new main. That's really nice. The, the the concentrated spells are very, very good. You can do some pretty cheesy stuff with them. i got to be careful not to set myself on fire here. I'd rather not be ablaze. That's weird. Does concentrated... Oh, that's so what? I think I just learned something new. Okay, so basically, if an enemy is flummoxed, their knockback is reversed. Maybe? Is that a thing? That might be a thing. Also, I missed a message from Dioriel. I apologize. Uh, how's uh, the whole headset situation going? I sure uh, would have viewed it. Uh, that thing crossed the room two days ago, if I were you. I, currently, I've only got it working out of one ear, but I'm, like, pretty okay with that. And, um, my, my plan is I am going to go and get, like, a soldering kit on, uh, or I'm gonna go and price out a soldering kit, because, uh, there's a, there's a place nearby, uh, that has, like, really, really ridiculous prices on that sort of thing. So hopefully I can get a really good deal. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll try to fix it myself, because, like, this headset is, like, I, I've, I've realized that it's just kind of important to, like, know some basic electric work like that's a good thing uh even if it's something that only comes up every now and then are you gonna try the minimum parallel world run i am but i'm not gonna try it today pelgrin because i know it's going to be a multiple stream thing and um yeah it's it's um let's see here what's, what's the word what is the word i was i was gonna say it oh so so like we're gonna have the weekend right so i i don't want it to um be like bad continuity where you guys have to wait like several days that sort of thing that that would be annoying didn't phoenix offer you a free one yes he did um uh, they, they all looked like they're really really nice headphones too but um i i do want to try the whole soldering thing m myself and um michaela offered to, to like buy me a, a new headset if if we want to go that route too not, not that like it's, it's super necessary but yeah i i, I don't know I just, I need to think out or think over, like, the whole ethics of, like, accepting big gifts like that from chat. Um, and, and, like, just consider that a little bit. Because I, I do think that maybe there is, like, a little bit of ethical concern on that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, no reason you can't do both. True, true Palgrim, very true. There's Ambrosia, that's really nice. Where'd my tablet go? Get that love fixing old tech uh, that can still do the job. Yeah, where, where did my tablet go, by the way? I completely lost it. Um, oh god, it's a freaking uko. Or not, not an uko. Just one of those things. Um, we don't need to use our home. I think the pheromones probably the the least important out of these. 
<clears throat> you should check if there's a marker space near you. They'd be willing to help you probably with the soldering marker space. I've never heard of an app, bro. I mean, I, I was just planning on looking up uh, a YouTube tutorial. That's the plan. There was the tablet. Indeed. Indeed. Wow. It's a little bit spooky. If these guys set on fire, they die really, really easily. They, they take fire damage at, at like a 10 times rate or something like that. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck, man? Jeez. Okay. Well, that's not good. <laughs> this daily is a little bit scary. Oh my god. Alrighty. I don't know if that's a teleport mage that has that wand or if it's something much less dangerous. It could be a Robocop even. But it's something up here. I'm trying to get like a visual. You weren't even that unlucky? Yeah, I mean, well, thankfully we had enough HP. We, we got like scraped by that thing real good. It is a Robocop. That, that's actually fine. Like that's not the worst option, believe it or not. There we go. Um, probably shouldn't leave this one behind. Yeah, t tell a mage or swapper with uh, a wand like that is like a game over kind of situation. A Robocop, I can handle that. That's not so bad. Let's do one of these. Um, there are at least three Robocops in Fungal. Okay. Okay, so th this is what you're saying is this is a run that you are familiar with. Ooh, more Ambrosia. There's a ton of Ambrosia. I, I could take that as well, or I could take the Unstable Teleport and potentially come back up. So many options. Look, there's a... one of those wands that we could recraft. Hey, Gunpowder Potion in the literal perfect spot. This is wonderful. Look at that. I'm gonna be able to acquire most of this gold. If not all of it, we'll see. There we go. Nice. And I'm on fire. Okay. Dude, Gunpowder po Potion is so legit. I love Gunpowder Potion. One of my favorites. I think we might use it again here. So that way I can get up to this one. Maybe I can actually navigate my way up there with some Ambrosia. There we go. It's kind of garbage, but I'll take it because it's better digging and it'll at least get me somewhere. Did it yesterday, made me regret not taking the broken wand. You just beat Rain World. Congratulations, Caliuresis. The ending is, like, incredibly surreal the first time around. It's like, what is happening? Um, if you like, I can give you a rundown on the, the lore of what the fuck just happened. Uh, because I doubt you picked up on it. Because I certainly didn't. But, yeah. If you want me to, like, tell you what the fuck just happened, I can. Because I've been, like, looking into the lore of that game and trying to, like, understand everything about it. You'd like to hear that. Okay. So, in the very end of Rain World, uh, your slug cat jumps into a mysterious liquid that is filled with giant leviathan-like giga demons. So this is, this is like a super futuristic world. Uh, it is not Earth, but it, it is just like a, a really futuristic world where um, the, the whole society is revolving around a religion that is uh, very comparable to uh, Buddhism. And basically in Buddhism, the, the goal is to enter into the ether or, or basically eventually drop into nothingness. So like reincarnation is a natural part of the world and nobody can die. Um, and there, there's this special liquid called void liquid, which uh, completely dissolves uh, organics um, and, and fully removes them from the cycle, which is, uh, literally the, the cycle of life. And, um, basically this was ha they, they basically built their religion around this void liquid after it was discovered. Um, and that, that's what people would do. They would go to melt themselves. Um, and there's some people it, that did not melt all the way. They're the ones that turned into those terrifying leviathan creatures. And they're caught between, like, something and nothing, essentially. And they, they are, like, basically eternal. There's nothing that they can do, and they're, they're like, trapped in that form. And, um, basically, the, 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 that is what the slug cats are doing as well. They are also 
entering into that cycle with the void liquid. And it, it seems like it might be a little bit of a different experience for the slug cats because they're like a truly innocent creature. They're not, um, you know, they're, they're, they're not like a crazy creature with, with like superpowers that, and like all this crazy knowledge and all that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it's it's very, very interesting to to see all the, the lore interlocking. Uh, Calyrisis, you have expected that you just got high and drowned. Um, but yeah, that, that that's the basics of it, Calyrisis. And hopefully that's enough to like motivate you to go and like look at more lore because it's all very complex and interesting and um, a really fun thing to like look over. Um, sounds like there was a pixel of chaotic poly in that void liquid. Something like that. Okay, so we got explosion immunity, which is actually really huge because that's going to be very, very important for our, uh, our, our future, I would say. Um, explosion immunity is obviously going to make things much, much easier on us. Hi, how you doing, Sokolis? How are you today? Uh, let's go ahead and use a little bit of our sea of acid to, to dig through here probably gonna have to refresh to make it all the way through unless I've got like a, a really nice breakthrough there I, I might have one we'll have to take a look but yeah I feel like I probably butchered the lore just a little bit but I, I tried my best there Calyrisis it's it, ba basically it's a spooky liquid and the, there's like a lot of weird religious stuff going on in it um, and it, it, it's not clear whether like that that religion is their reality or if that's just something that they they built and uh yeah it's, it's it's very interesting are there hints in the game for all the lore i must have missed most of it so there's like ways you can interact with the iterators so moon is an iterator five pebbles is an iterator um and, and they can give you a lot of information and there's also a lot of um stuff surrounding what's what's the word there, there, there's like random like mini pieces that uh, you can collect throughout the world and uh, th there's different storylines going on in the different uh, difficulty modes as well so survivor ha or like the survivor which is the basic white cat has a much different storyline from the hunter the hunter came long before the survivor did um, and they have very very different storylines because of that so I definitely think like if you can handle Hunter, uh, you should definitely give it a try. Evening all. How you doing, Rubitech? Welcome on in. They went full anime with the cutscenes. In, uh... Oh, you've been playing Final Fantasy XIV? I can't... I, I'm sorry, I'm really bad at Roman numerals. Uh, and I found, uh, probably the funniest quest line. Is, is XIV 15? I loved watching through 15. It was such a funny game. They have, like, a whole quest line dedicated to Cup of Noodles. Sea of Acid, can we add a MOM kill to this run? If I get, like, good digging. It's 14? Okay. It's 14. The MMO. I gotcha. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of people really like that game. It's neat. It's neat. What is needed for Nemesis? Uh, Noita Together. And that is all. You just need to download Noita Together, and it'll also download Nemesis alongside of it. It is uh, quite ideal, Rubitech. It's not too too difficult to uh, set up. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really not too bad. Okay, let's go and track down like a good wand, hopefully, because right now we're in, not in very good shape. Uh, are you going to stream this Friday or Saturday? I do not stream on Fridays or Saturdays. I, I spend Fridays working on um, other stream-related things. Um, like j just trying to improve everything in uh, in a different route I either by like doing YouTube or, or like doing random stream maintenance or um, like working on the game has been like my main focus I've been doing lots of pixel art but um, yeah and, and Saturday is my one day off uh, streamer going so fast he didn't even uh, find the telly wand lol it's fine we can go back up for it CK Hey, Michaela. Is there only one teleport wand? I'm, I'm scared now. Me want teleport wand. I didn't take the teleport flask so I could go back up either, which kind of sucks. 
Hmm. Hmm. This thing has such high um, castle It's kind of crazy. You started uh, 15 several times, but you got lost in the open world pretty quick quickly. That's fair. Yeah, Tortelli, because your ghost dropped it in the mines. Oh, lucky. Very lucky, CK. What's so special about the Frozen Vault Orb? Is it a challenge? Yeah, it's just for a challenge. The Sokolist. There's nothing special about it. It's just uh, to add in a little bit of flavor to uh, what would otherwise be a completely normal run. You know, one of those. Hello, Ice Bear. What was that? I got hit by something there. Well, I wasn't looking. Dang it. Wow, big explosion happened here, apparently. Oh, my goodness. I would love for them to be on fire so they can't continue shooting at me like this. But this thing is not setting them ablaze for whatever reason. Normally, concentrated spells is really good for setting people on fire. <laughs> oh, man. I was hoping to get, like, a decent little bounce there, but we didn't get it. There we go. That guy got set on fire, at least. I'm very lucky to have not gotten hit by any of these, because they do 35 damage, and uh, that means basically two hits and I die. <laughs> say, so cool to say hi to Michaela, she's already gone. That is, that is the classic. The classic. <clears throat> Coal pits is the only place, oh no. There's, there are more somehow. Why are they all slimy? What enemy could they have been interacting with to cause that, I wonder? Um, some people have uh, one letter emotes. I see that, but that is against Toss, Sokolis. I, uh, my, my one letter emote is not a letter, it's an aqueduct, so it's okay. <laughs> it's totally fine. Nobody, nobody can say anything. There we go. We've got 6,500 gold. What have we been doing on this run, man? It's crazy. This guy is causing all sorts of troubles. Wow, he's still alive after that hit. It's unfortunate. Yeah, I don't care enough about that gold to risk exploding myself. Actually, I, I guess I wouldn't get exploded. I'd just be taking a bunch of damage from the other stuff. The, the, the weird goop. Wow, that was a lucky shot. I didn't even know that guy was up there. And then just randomly murdered him. It's always convenient when that happens. Just get the, the random murders. I gotta use my all-seeing eye more. That'll probably be a, a very useful thing on this run. <clears throat> Try not to take too much damage here. There we go. Freezing vapor, that's the word. That is the word. Derp. I don't know why or how so many people get away with having... Uh, Word-based emotes. Maybe it's like a bit of a gray area, Sokolis. That's the only thing I can think of. This is a wand, and there's a bunch of dudes. This is a very dangerous location. I'm very tempted to simply ambroge up and stand still. But with the recoil, I feel like that's not a great idea. I'm actually really happy with the fire rate of this wand. Apparently we lost one HP somewhere along the line. Now we're at exactly optimal HP. Uh, let's see if we can get some drops going here. Probably not. Ooh. Okay. That might have been all of them. It was. I'm very surprised that went as well as it did. Today we are just playing well instead of uh, getting good wands. But yeah, so far this daily has been, like, very not okay. Not, not very good at all. I think the point is to stop streamers from having one or two letters. Wait, so I think that's true. Uh, a streamer having one or two letters doesn't really matter. Let's try and stop people from chatting in emote only chat. Or using cur yeah, I, th I think it's just to stop curse words. I'm pretty sure that's the, the main purpose of a Ruby Tick. Which is very fair. Give people the wrong letter and all of a sudden you've uh, unlocked the, the keys to... Or you've unlocked Pandora's box as it were, right? Bad things will start happening. Ow, rude Uko punching me. He actually managed to dodge, which is impressive. Whoa. <laughs> that was a little bit messy. Okay. Need a little bit more ambrosia where we're going. There we go. That could have gone a lot cleaner. It was very chaotic. Oh my, oh my goodness. 
<laughs> why why are there so many of them, Kronos? That's or sorry, Sokolus, that's crazy. Getting great wands. Yeah, that is true. But getting really good wands is uh is definitely a part of playing Noita well. I tried to use that to block most of the bubble damage. It can work sometimes, but it's not the easiest thing. There we go. What do we have over here? I, I, I guess I probably shot this from afar. Got gifted subs to a lot of channels, it seems. Yeah, so it seems, Sokolis. You've been on many a raid. One way or another. I'm gonna, like, cut this up high here. And hopefully kill something with it. When I play, I simply find good ones, Giga Chat. Yeah, that's that's what I normally do too, so uh, Urshmamaron. But uh, if you play today's daily, it seems like you will not find any good ones, or at least I haven't found one yet. But I, I guess it's all about like surviving long enough to find that good wand, right? We just got to keep being alive, and uh, eventually it'll show up. I'm trying to save my HP as much as possible. I haven't taken my my next regen up, or my next HP up rather. There's firebombs. I do like firebombs well enough. They're, they're kind of fun. Firebombs are, like, insanely underused. They're really fun. Okay, I'm gonna use this so that way I don't have to get shot in the face by something really dangerous. That would have done 35 damage to me if I would uh, approached that the exact same without Ambrosia. Not to say I would, but, um, you know, definitely something that could have happened. And then I would be on very low HP. I thought for sure that guy was dead. Extra dude came out of nowhere. Let's use our all-seeing eye. Wow, these wands are not really inspiring, are they? We've got an eye. Um, hmm. How's this wand? Pretty okay. Considering my current wand and the way it plays, I feel like this might just be a better wand to use for the most part. We'll see. Hey, another wand. Speaking of which, I have many wands to find. We got like a. I need to ch check this area over here. Okay. It's energy orb. Not really what I'm after. I'm surprised there's nothing in here. There's There's been no worms on this floor either. A very, uh, very dead floor for the most part. I'm very afraid uh, about holding on to this lightning wand, to be honest. The, the thing that's making me un most uncomfortable right now. <laughs> uh, I just discovered souls. What's that? Um, it, it's just channel points. You can use it for uh, sound effects or um, like for, for something really good. And, and, and like gambling and all that sort of thing. It's just my imaginary channel points. Everybody or every channel has one. Every channel uses it a little differently or not at all. Not, nothing wrong with doing that too. Yes. Uh, soon, uh, people should hold on to their channel points to at least to some degree. Um, because you'll be able to convert it in a one-time thing to the, the new currency. Wow, now that's a wand. Yeah, you'll be able to convert it to the, the new currency um, when the, the game comes out eventually. So that, that might be something worth uh, considering. Do you stream every day? No, I stream um, Monday to, or uh, sorry, Sunday to Thursday. Th those are my stream days, and uh, occasionally I'll miss them for one reason or another, but uh, that is generally what I aim for, is um, Sunday to Thursday. But the void calls to me. I can refund those points. That's not a problem, Pelgrim. That's a thing that can happen. Yeah, so my, uh, my, like, Twitch API is broken, and a lot of people aren't going to be gaining those soul points, but we're, we're just gonna be going off of the- we're, we're just gonna convert the- the Twitch channel points, Shmameron. So, you don't have to worry too much about that. Um, okay, so we got, uh, some more really good spells, and this wand is actually pretty good. So that's good. Sunday to Thursday, uh, between 1 to 3 p.m. Yeah. That, that's that's about right. And then uh, to whatever the heck time I feel like. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's see here. Not my PM. <laughs> yeah. No, it won't be won't be a lot of people's PMs. I'm sure. 
Um, let's see here. Dead crazy zombie redeeming something really good. What do you have in mind there, dead crazy zombie? What is it that you desire? Uh, what if we do one of these and one of these and then we put the crit on there maybe it might be too expensive this will probably be too expensive that's the it's a concentrate let's see 35 and this is 0 0.07 oh we need to spell wrap it okay that might be good it lacks range cereal eating stream with a mug you wouldn't- you wouldn't even know I was eating cereal. Uh, we all know by next week, Alias will stream at 10 a.m. because his sleeping schedule magically changed, yeah. Well, I mean, it's- it's a work in progress, and we just kind of reset all that progress, uh, yesterday by, uh, staying up till, like, 3 o'clock in the morning, but, you know. <laughs> with any- with any luck. Okay, so I guess we're using this wand for now. I think it is our best wand, despite its massive flaws. It should be okay. Um, and we're, now is definitely th the time to uh, grab this, for sure. Might as well. Crit on burning is kind of cute, but not really good yet. Or, or pretty much ever. Good evening, how you doing, Smegma Lasagna? Uh, I just met one of those fire-breathing artists and added him to my contacts. Cool stuff. That sounds really neat. That sounds very neat. What, what was that all about, Smegma Lasagna? How, how did it go? I love the idea of eating cereal in a mug, though. I love, uh... Some cereal nice and soggy? Yeah, that's- that's not for me. It's not for me, I don't know why. Alright, let me- let me sneak in here. We're going to set up this wand like so. We've got this plasma beam cross here that I'm definitely thinking about using. Don't get me wrong, that is- that is high on my list of, uh, things to potentially abuse on this run. I'm- I'm very tempted. We just need to find, uh, like, one or two more things, and we can make our- our dreams a reality. At least that- that's the hope. There's a Swapper over here. wonder what he's doing. Swappers are really funny. They're just, like, goofy little guys who will, like, absolutely ruin your life if they- if you give them the chance. They're, they're pretty mean. Oh no. Don't- don't get hit by random dumb stuff like that. Quick question, uh, do you have any, uh, idea if Noita Music is free, uh, to use for remixes? Uh, also have to do some research. I- I am not certain on that subject myself, Diorio. Um, I, I think you'd have to ask, um... I don't know who you'd have to ask. May maybe the devs themselves, or... Uh, Dude Guy Broman might know. I- I would say if there's anybody in the community who would know for sure, it would be- it would be him. Yeah, I, I don't know how many games would have that. I, I feel like, for the most part, you just have to, like, go by fair use regulations for a lot of it. I imagine that would probably be the, the best way to get, like, your, your closest estimation. Because I, I, I don't know how remixes really work, necessarily. Like, how, how much do you have to change until it's your own thing? That's interesting. A large chunk of this treasure chest is missing. It's a moon. I can't do anything particularly cool with the moon, unfortunately. Nala have a business email. Business at, uh, whatever domain is. Would recommend asking there. Yeah, that's a good call. I was pretty certain it's protected. Okay. Yeah, so unless they say otherwise. Like, I, I guess you'd have to ask permission to be one of those situations. So, fun fact... Lightning actually has an uncapped speed to it. And because it's got an uncapped speed, if you give it any speed at all, it kind of goes fucking crazy. It's quite interesting. Um, it's the only spell in the entire game that has an uncapped speed, which means that you could probably do some super stupid stuff with it. And I wish... At, at some point, we're going to have to mess around with that, because uh, that sounds funny. Teal says, I tried to kill plasma, uh, or the, the bridge boss with the plasma crossbeam without homing. Spoilers, it did not go well. That's rough, Teal. Um, yeah, you definitely need to place that plasma cross particularly well, otherwise things can go wrong very, very easily. Yeah, uncapped spell speed. So normally spells have, um, a uh, capped speed to them. Lightning-based parallel world tally wand. I, I mean, it can't, like, 
uncap the speed of other projectiles or anything like that. It doesn't it doesn't share that property, unfortunately. But um, I'm sure that there are some pretty interesting things you can do with it. Add some matter eater for some extreme digging. The problem with that is that matter eater is on like a tick rate, right? So if the tick rate is too slow for the the shot speed, um, then it'll just bump into a wall and uh, it stall out immediately. And I I think one one like super underrated matter eater strategy is actually using like um using homing. Homing matter eater is like pretty effective especially if you have like drilling shot on there too so that way it can hug the ground or piercing either one of those would work fairly effectively um so there, there's definitely like some interesting potential options that are uh, not super explored with um with matter eater uh divide by 10 divide by 10 move speed up uh, lightning yeah that'd be really funny yeah lightning bolt uh has no speed cap if you Test uncapped speed stuff. Remember that the speed modifiers uh, cap the speed multiplier to 20 times, but it has no perk limit. Right, so the, the perk limit is going to be the... or the, Basically, using some stuff like Pinpointer would be really good. Aw, snap, Pelgrin using a rare Call of the Void. Congratulations, Pelgrin. Hey, thank you for, for spending so much freaking time here that you can just throw 100k away. <laughs> it's kind of nutty. It's kind of nutty. Like using my brain to solve things. Yeah, it's fun, sick bastard. Can occasionally be a, a rewarding process every now and then. The deceleration on this thing is a little bit weird, but it's kind of doing. It's kind of doing. We'll leave it at that. It do be doing. Okay, let's grab ourselves a couple of these. I'm very tempted to, to peek into this biome on the left and see if we can't find, like, a wand. This is a very open area. I was really hoping to find, like, a good wand. We're kind of, like, full clearing right now, which is not what my original intention was. I was hoping to make this, like, a nice quick run where we just kind of, like, rip through the daily and go to that other side biome. Teal looking for a, a green screen for next time we play Elden Ring. Uh, wh what have you got for me, Teal? What have you got for me? I have to jump over and add it in. Okay. Um, we've got all seeing eyes, which is good. I have to jump over here. What spell does the frozen vault give you? I actually can't recall. Um, we're, we're just going over to frozen vault to get the orb just for fun. I don't really have any real reason to do it other than ju just cause. Aha, was that a wand? No, it's an enemy. Dang it. I was really hoping to reveal a wand. There, there's like a couple wands over here. Tentacle spell? It might be tentacle spell. It could very well be. But I, I like I said, I can't recall. Some, somebody else might know, though. Somebody else may know. This guy's died pretty easily. Normally, the, the things are pretty early on, but uh, this time it looks like we're a little bit unlucky. Ooh. <laughs> There's an eternal struggle over there. Actually, I don't know why the turret isn't just turning and killing that guy. It's kind of weird. Kind of strange. We've got no more all-seeing eyes, so I, I really don't want to venture into the darkness. This is very much not worth it. But, um, yeah, it's fine. Uh, I think it is. You get it from the snow level. E yes, I believe so. How you doing, Nutty? Good to see you. Lovely to see in this biome. Yeah, well, we had a little bit of spare all-seeing eye. Might as well go check it out. Um, I was really hoping to, like, snipe a wand out of there, Nutty, but uh, unfortunately, uh, no dice. We have a complete lack of digging, so we're going to have to... I think we kind of have to slow roll this, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we're, we're actually just going to have to go real slow. I'm tempted to go back up to the previous floor and try to find some stuff, but we, we've, like, full cleared this floor. We have 10k gold, which is just insanely excessive. Um, but yeah, let, let's go... Is, is there any... I'm trying to contemplate if there's any, like, acceleration in the previous floors, because we could use that to cut down on our travel time a lot. Snow physics looks so soft. Yeah, snow physics in this game are actually really good. I like it a lot. Oh, man. That was a really bad dodge angle. I could have done that a lot better. I think just walking forward would have been doing that a lot better. 
There's a ton of slime here. I'd love to go back up and gather um, some teleportadium. Unstable teleportadium. There's definitely at least one XL in fungal. Yeah, I think I saw some earlier, CK. So I think it might be worth it to climb back up and then go back into fungal and see if we can't find like a couple more goodies. Because, yeah, this run is like real garbage. I'm going to keep saying it until it stops being garbage. Because it is 100% the case. It is very bad. Um. Yeah. Nutty says, just finished Paci uh, Pacific Undertale a few minutes ago. Your stream uh, seems to be a great uh, break before I kill everybody in this game. Alright, good luck, Nutty. I'm gonna sneeze, oh god. Am I gonna sneeze? It's one of those ones. Yes. Yes, I am. <clears throat> did TL say what he wanted for his green screen? I don't think he did. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> you missed a concentrated light spell? Yeah. It's almost like uh, I don't need a million concentrated light spells. And they're not very good. The speed up should help with that. You want green. Well, my we, my wand is very green, Teal. Um, let's see here. This sucks. This sucks a bunch. We do not have, like, good stuff at all. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Why, why is our stuff so bad? I don't understand. I guess it's just one of those runs, but come on. Give me something. Give me just something. We're, we're gonna go all, all the way to the right and hope that we um, get a little bit lucky on our way out of this biome. And we're gonna have to make a long climb probably if we don't get lucky, like I'm kind of hoping I am. It, there, there's always a chance that, like, a, a random teleport wand shows up and saves this run from being the most painful thing on Earth. Hey, that's really good. Okay, so this unstable teleportadium will be able to turn into um, other stuff. We'll just leave our ambrosia here. That's fine. Got We got more where that came from. So there should be an eye puzzle up here. We can do the eye puzzle, and then we can um, wrong warp into Lanedale, and then from there we'll be able to go and take out Godfrey right away, and that should save us a lot of time. Uh, I'm, I'm just kidding, that's... <laughs> it's a bunch of Elden Ring nonsense. No, but we, we can hopefully get, like, a, a good wand from the, the eye, and that'll help us a lot. Use a zip, yeah. That game is actually insanely broken, and it's awesome. I love I love me a broken game. Does anybody remember where the eye is? Uh, hopefully we find that orbit modifier so that we can have infinite, uh... Wait, orbit modifier so we can get some infinite lightning range. Why would the orbit modifier be helpful for the lightning range? It's above the nose. True, 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 true. That is the case. Yeah, but I'm, I'm looking for the... The random magic eye that's on this floor somewhere. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. I f***ed up landing on two pixels. Not only were they two pixels, they were two long pixels. How you doing, Drive? Good to see you. Uh, this is this is taking way longer than I anticipated. Finding the, the eye again. That's fine. We'll just continue wandering around until it all fixes itself. This puzzle will be solved. Maybe I can uh, transform the teleport. That would be good. Look at this. Man, so much... Uh, ice forming on this floor. It's kind of an unusual amount, actually. Okay. Do a little bit of this. That potion's already in the perfect spot, funny enough. This is, uh, this seems pretty good. Although, I, I, that potion might be broken in some way. Judging by the way that it's pouring everything out as well. Okay, there we go. Um... Yeah, very interesting. I don't know what happened to the physics there, but we'll try and gather that potion and then throw it back in. Oh, shit. <laughs> the classic. The classic insta-teleport. Okay. 
Well, hopefully we've just got all normal teleportadium now. Looks like it pretty much is. There we go. What? Where'd it go? It actually, like, is basically invisible in there. I guess we'll mod restart, and uh, that will turn it up, right? Modifier makes your projectile orbit, uh, but since lightning has a much faster speed, it basically gives it infinite range. Oh, okay. I see. I didn't know that the orbit modifier could be used that way as well. It's magma lasagna. That's cool. Okay. Well, with this teleport, we're now, uh, like, way, way more powerful than we were earlier. Um, and we'll, we'll make sure that we gather two full flasks full, and then I'll be able to travel the world much more freely. Which is definitely a, a favorable thing for me. Where did the other flask go? There it is. It's only 11% full. Um, hmm. wonder if there's any way I can sneak in there and gather the flask. I think we just gotta dive for it. Got it. Alright. Well, that should be more than enough teleport for our purposes. I'm gonna go back up to the previous floor and... I guess I should just go find the evil eye here first. Or not the evil eye, the normal eye. Because that, that will give us a bunch of goodies. We can just use this to travel around. We don't have to be plebs anymore. And walk places. I like the, the frozen statues that are just being left behind everywhere. That's great. Okay, there's my ambrosia. This is a dark area, so it's definitely not over here. But um, that also yeah, brings the promise of wands. Such as this one. This tiny two-capacity wand. Thank goodness. Thank goodness we found it. It's the wand we've been searching for this whole time. I think there's a decent Uko spawn right here. So maybe be careful. Actually, I think we're good. I think the turret takes up the Uko spawn. Oh, hey, we do have a worm on this floor. That's good. I definitely need more HP drops. Ow. Whoa, sniper. Actually, the, the worm kind of blocked the sniper shot, so that's good. That guy's got a very scary wand. This worm is being hyper aggro. I'd just like it to die, to be honest. The decelerating shot has some pretty interesting uh, things going on with it that might be useful with the ball lightning. That's a really nice wand. A very nice. Wow, more ambrosia. Are you serious? That's crazy. That is crazy. I thought I had explored more left than I had. There is extra HP this time. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're up to 195, which is uh, a much more uh, cozy amount of HP. All right, ha have a good one, Diorial. I'll, I'll catch you later. All right. Um, fire bomb. Hmm. Let's dig through here. Maybe we'll go down and teleport back up now that we can. The worm may break the ambrosia. You're definitely right on that. Thankfully, th it died, so... We don't have to worry about that now. But that was a, a high potential possibility, for sure. I'm getting out of here. I don't want to be there. I'm just gonna let them infight. And then, uh, everything will be good. Yeah, we, we didn't explore this lower region too much. I guess we're going in. <laughs> That's... I didn't have a choice there. It just happened. We got a teleport. Let's go. And we got a circle of acid as well. I'm just going to run at this guy because we have ambrosia for days. Actually, more ambrosia than we know what to do with. Um, okay. So this is this is big roll. Big roll hours here. Uh, bounce, bouncy spells is a lot of fun, but doesn't really match up with our, our current objectives. Speed. All right. Maybe we are doing the dumb electric thing. Uh, I'll drop some game menu music sometime this weekend. Uh, did a while back. Uh, I'd like to know if it's your thing. Okay, yeah, go for it. I'm always interested. Um, the role in, uh, the daily is sheet. Yeah, it's, it's been quite meh so far. I'm a notoriously meh, Teal. It would, would be how I would describe it. Uh, there are many bad things about this daily thus far, and it's quite, it's like intriguingly bad, honestly. It's, it's unique. Uniquely terrible. Um, we definitely don't want to take either of those. We're, we, we need to have a teleport wand. And by need, I mean like I really, really want a teleport wand. Please, please give me teleport wand. Um, 
Let's do one of these. Let's check this thing out now. Probably, it's probably a lot better now that the decelerating shot has been neutralized. This thing's already shooting at like a decent pace. Um, how's this thing looking now? Yeah, that's pretty good. We want the faster teleport just because that's very convenient. Um, let's do one of these and I think we will teleport back up. We don't have any... Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> You're not supposed to be here. That's not allowed. That's not allowed. Okay. Hmm. We, we definitely should just dump some stuff that we're not going to use right away. Like that. And... It's very tempting to activate the plasma beam and go after the one boss. But I don't think I have the ability to do that just yet. I need, like, a timer. That's gonna be the thing that, uh, makes it super doable. But on the bright side, we're definitely powering up. The, the teleport gives me, uh, like, way, way more comfort to just, like, move around. My goodness, I think I might be in a sneezy... I have two timers. I have two triggers, Melbareth, which are definitely not timers. They're different. They're different and worse in every way. They they are not helpful for, for what I need to do. They are very, very bad comparatively for killing the, the pit boss, which is my real goal right now. Um, man, am I, like, getting giga allergies right now? I think that's what's happening. I'm just, like, getting ultra allergies, which is kind of annoying. Yeah. Drop the music, uh, Sunday during your stream. Uh, you'd be willing to... Yeah, of course, Giorgio. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Uh, triggers aren't, uh, worse in every way, just sometimes. They're worse in every way against that very particular boss. Uh, otherwise, they are, like, better pretty much all the time. I, I would say that, uh, timers and triggers, uh, both have their own benefits and drawbacks. Uh, most of the time, I do heavily prefer triggers over timers. There's a high chance of a wand being in here. Um, I don't see it, though, so I think we're safe. Yeah, no, tr I heavily prefer triggers over timers, um, but for that boss fight, it it's, it's not that way. It is definitely not. Okay, we're, we're hoping for some cool wands in here, because I, I feel like this is a spot where people might not search for wands. And, um, so far I've heard nothing but bad things about this daily, and I've seen nothing but bad things. That's interesting. I wonder what killed him. It sounded like it was a wand. I'm gonna use my all-seeing eye here. Give myself more vision down this tunnel. This nerd is trapped in the wall. Uh, I don't think there is a timer. Wand, uh, wand in a wall. Oh, did you see one? Bobby Mage? Let me, let me go take another look. Um, I don't see any wands in a wall. At least not yet. Should be able to make this shot. I think. There we go. This is the most likely room for them. How you doing, HMU? Good to see ya. Yeah, I shouldn't have to worry about, like, getting instantly exploded, but a bunch of propane tanks stacked up would be scary, I guess. Straight above me. There it is. There's a wand. Okay. It's got firebombs or something on it. Not entirely certain. Ow. Rude. Oh, Jesus. Big danger wand. Okay. That's not good. That's a different wand, okay. What was the daily again? For 24 hours, everyone has the same seed? Yes. I'm sorry to hear that, HMU. But, um, you know, I'm sure once you've got it figured out, you'll you'll come out stronger, right? That That's just part of life, is learning how to deal with those sort of situations. Make that the pit boss wand. Let the seed go down with the boom. I would just die so quickly. Not a good idea. It's not a good idea at all. 
Gonna grab this, just because we can. This wasn't the orb I was aiming for, but it is an extra orb. Okay, people are still saying there's a wand hidden in a wall, so I'm gonna go back to where I was. Oh my goodness, these freaking ghosts. I can't kill them because they're too tanky. Oh, there it is! Yeah, that's a weird spot. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh my god. What a wand. That's funny. It's a really, really funny wand. <laughs> why? <laughs> Just why? I guess I'm getting attacked. Guess I'll just blow myself up. What's the difference between timers and triggers against the pit boss? Um, with timers, you don't get, or you don't have to direct hit the pit boss. With triggers, you do. Hey, welcome on in, Pixie Wixie. Thank you for the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. Mayo face, Pixie Wixie, eternal rest. How are you all doing? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Poopy, ra poopy raid. Is, is that what it is? Oh, God. Um, we're, we're gonna teleport, I guess. There we go. Welcome, welcome. Uh, how are you doing today, Pixie Wixie? What were you up to? What were you doing? Uh, is there a mod to replace all enemies with flying wands? I don't think so, but there is a mod to give every single enemy in the game a wand, which is similar. Uh, kill the bridge boss with the trigger and the plasma beam cross. The problem with that, Teal, is that if I shoot the boss directly with the trigger, he will fire the trigger back and not the plasma beam, which will result in me dying to a million trigger shots instead of him dying to a million, plas a million plasma beam shots. That's the difference between the timer and the trigger. Is that with the timer, you don't direct hit the boss, and with the trigger, you do. Which is, uh, a super big deal. <laughs> uh, it's going great. Was playing some Noita, I think, today. I have the strongest weapon I've ever had. Do you have a, a clip of it or anything, Pixie Wixie? That sounds really cool. Congratulations. It's, al it's always fun to, like, get really overpowered in this game. And the, the first couple of times that you, you get, like, insanely overpowered, it's like, wow. I want it to stay like this forever. And then eventually you get bored because there's not enough challenge. <laughs> there's no clip. Oh yeah, no, no worries. Um, let's see here. It's just a chainsaw and a bomb wand. I mean, that can be pretty effective, sick bastard. It was pretty strong. Probably they think it's meh. I mean, it, it, everybody's got their own power levels to to live up to, Pixie Wixie. There's nothing wrong with that. And um, yeah, I mean, it's 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 just good that you enjoyed the wand, right? It's awesome. Was a ping pong loomy drill want? Those are a ton of fun as well. Eternal, I, I love me a ping pong loomy. It's a, it's a classic. I would say that is like one of the most classic uh, wand designs you could go for. Um, we got pretty unlucky with these wands, unfortunately. Um, yeah, these are both terrible. So, yep, yep, still bad. <laughs> I keep like looking at them again, expecting them to get better. They just don't get back. Yeah, this daily is fiendish. It's it's quite brutal. How you doing, Skulldale? Well, come on in. I keep things like Plasma Cross around, uh, but suck too much to survive to actually use them against him. That that's fair, Belberth. I mean, it, honestly, it's the thought that counts. That's that's half the battle is being like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go and do this thing. Thank you. Uh, Eternal Rest. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. I really appreciate that. I hope you've been enjoying the stream so far. But yeah, Pixie Wixie, thank you so much for bringing all your folks over this way. I, I gotta give you a proper shout out. Everybody on my end, please make sure you go and support Pixie Wixie as they are doing with us by, uh, you know, intermingling our communities. It's, it's a, a lovely thing. Uh, can we choose the next seed? Um, we're gonna be doing uh, Noita Nemesis next, so yeah, you guys could pick the next seed. That could be fun. What about seed zero or seed 69? Oh, you just reminded me. I have like a really cool idea that I, I never went and did. We're going to try and do like a, a seed climb from like seed zero to, to seed 100 and see what they look like. I think that could be fun. That could be a lot of fun. I don't, I don't know what that would necessarily entail. Maybe we can find some sort of uh, additional thing to, to tie to it like it could be a win streak it could be neat let's do your first ever seed I, I don't even know what my first ever seed was unfortunately but that would be cool to go back and and like look at it or something 
Um, okay, so we're gonna go down and just continue normally for now, and we can always teleport back up whenever we please because of all the mass teleportadium that we have access to. Speaking of which, we should have some more just over here, and there's a flask that is 12% full. Um, I don't know why it's 12% full. It should be more full than that. But we're gonna go ahead and do a little mod restart, which will bring our flasks and put them upright. You did seed one to five, and they were pretty good. Okay, Sped Silver. Good to know. Let's see here. Are these up right now? The one is up right. You can see that it's slowly filling. It's just taking its sweet time. There we go. Okay, I did get the full one, which is good. You could probably do set seed speed runs for the first ten, I guess, and uh, the sum of the time. Uh, or get the sum of time or something like that. That could be neat. I apologize. I've got a bit of uh, like allergies going right now. So you might hear me be like a little bit stuffed up and or like runny nose sounding. I apologize. Normally it's not this bad. I don't know what's going on. Pro probably just plants doing plant things and or very dusty room. One of the two. Dusting is one of those things where I, I just never think to do it. Because it's, it's like such a basic thing. Okay. So... We have lightning with potential infinite range because this faster projectile is really funny. Is C2 similar to C3? I doubt it. So the thing is, is the seed number doesn't really make that big of a difference. What if there... Oh my god. What if there was, like, a unique seed, like in Terraria, where there's, like, a hidden special seed that does something unique? That would be really cool. I never even considered that. Attack pit boss with Sea of Lava. He doesn't take damage to Sea of Acid. He, he would take uh, none or almost no damage. Cauldron seed? Yeah, what if there's a cauldron seed? What if there's a very specific seed that you need to be on to, to experience the, the true glory of the cauldron? He would make a lot of acid, though. No, he wouldn't. I don't think he would... Uh, I don't think he can take um, other type spells. Would it even be an other type spell? It's a, it's a material, so no. It's, it's not even like a spell he could take. Uh, or a seed that has all the rarest modifiers. That, that could be neat as well. Probably... Uh, would probably be written and finished. Maybe. Just blow this up, hopefully. Well, I was hoping that would explode him, but it didn't. He lived. Damn. I was hoping that would, like, come back and hit them. Apparently not. Fill the cauldron with seed. I, d I don't think that's... That's what people were meaning. That's not what people were intending at all. That's something completely different. Okay. We're doing some very good damage. Which is good. And anybody has anybody ever found an unbeatable seed? I don't think you would know it's unbeatable until So the the problem with an unbeatable seed is you, you wouldn't know it's unbeatable because you'd have to play it multiple times. And yeah, I I don't think there is an unbeatable seed. Like even if there's something like, oh, I got nuked right at the start of the game and I couldn't do anything. That you'd probably be able to do something on a subsequent playthrough. That's the thing. Whoops, that was unintentional. I meant to use Ambrosia there. Sounds like a challenge? Yeah. But also, it'd be pretty hard to find a seed that was actually hard. Because most of the time, you can just kind of run past everything and it's totally fine. E even seeds where it's just like, oh, yeah, there's this really scary enemy who's holding a wand. Like, he'd probably only do it once, right? That's the thing. He's not going to be holding the wand every single time. That, speaking of wands, that's a nice looking one. I keep mixing up my, my potions. There we go. What kind of wand is this? It's a, it's a good one. Does the terrain generate in such a way that it could be possible for the bottom of a level area to be fully blocked? No. Um, I, I, have, I have had soft lock situations with um, specific runs. But that it's very, very specific stuff. So, like, if you're not, if you don't have a wand and you, you, there's like ice that could form potentially, and you'd be trapped by that. That that's feasible. Um, let's do a little bit of this. 
Okay. He's blocking the damage. we'll just use this. I don't want to generate a ton of that stuff. Okay. Need to think this through a little bit. Um, I could use this probably. Gotta watch my, uh, my ambrosia levels with this. Goat is so scary, man. I could definitely die here if I'm not careful. Okay. Yeah, that, that guy's terrifying. That, that definitely like one of the leading run-enders in the whole game. You just gotta keep your cool against him, though. You'll be okay. Um, we got unlimited spells, which is kind of nice. What else do we have? We, we ran through a lot of Ambrosia there, but it's okay because we've got a bunch of Ambrosia on the previous floors. So, it's not all bad. Um, That wand has homing miss by default? Yeah, it does. Contra, thank you for the follow. Hope you've been enjoying the stream so far. Potential for a missed wand? We don't have any damage ups, though. Like, we, we there's no point in doing a homing missed wand if we don't have any damage up for it. Okay, let's take the unlimited spells because our reroll cost is already pretty high. And we'll dump a couple of uh, spells here. That is fine. Get this bifurcate on the ground. And we'll, we'll definitely take the, the short range homing. Infinite C. Oh, the, uh, yeah, infinite acid C. That's, that's what we did it for. That's what it was all for. We can just do a bunch of these now. We... Fun fact, most of the things on this next floor are completely immune to acid, so... Um, not actually very helpful here. Time to find rocks. Yeah, short-range homing rocks would actually be a pretty clutch thing, for sure. I, w I wouldn't be opposed to that, actually. I think that might be one of the better setups I could use. Melt it all the way. I mean, we we've melted it enough. Okay, let's move this over here. We don't have to use the crappy decelerating stuff anymore. It's tempting to use this, but if I go back up to a metal floor, it's quite dangerous. And that is where I'm gonna be going next, probably. Is the previous floor. HP up. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I did. Okay. So, we've got this puppy here. Where did our all-seeing eye wand go? That's over here. I see. How you doing, sexy girl? Um, this wand is still pretty good. I'll use it for that. We'll dump that. Okay, so we need to come up with a good excuse to use our homing. And I think that this is probably the best excuse for homing right here. Um, and then we don't have to shoot as fast. Let's take a quick look at this. Remember, this is doing about double the damage that it should be doing. So, that it's definitely not that strong. Because the, the trigger is like double activating. But it's still pretty good. And now with short range homing, we can probably do some plasma cross based shenanigans, so we might want to go and play around with that as well. Uh, I definitely feel a lot more confident in uh, the, the potential setups that we can utilize with that. Okay. So yeah, we're, we're going to try and recover back up to the previous floor. And um, yeah, it, it should be like a little bit of a trek. But it also should be okay. I think we already found our, our main path. That guy's got a wand. The it, He's got green magic missiles on it, which is fairly scary. Like, quite scary, actually. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do. That's pretty good. Yeah, so this spell, ball lightning, is actually insanely, insanely strong. I'm bad at dodging. That's, that's my bad right there. Should definitely just get better at dodging, forehead. But the, yeah, it does a lot of damage. It's a very, very strong spell. You've got explosion immunity. That doesn't stop me from being terrified of the... Uh, the miss... Like, the projectile damage and whatnot. J just because I'm safe from the explosive damage doesn't mean a spell 
Or that, that spell does a lot more than just explosive damage. Is, is the long story short. Most spells don't do a pure damage type. Most spells do a mixed damage type. And that's so... There's all sorts of, like, weird situations they can apply with, like, resistances and immunities and potential for healing and all that sort of thing. He's a medic, but he's definitely not surviving this situation. Oh, well, maybe he is. I want him to live. I'm gonna force him to live. There we go. Gotta trade some heals here. Just hope that guy stays on fire. He's no longer on fire, which is a shame. Just need to get these two into like an optimal position. Just gonna blow him up, I guess. We got a couple of heals there. Gonna kill Pit Boss? I am going to kill Kit Pit Boss, yes. That is the game plan. I would very much like to see him dead. This is quite the wand that I need to make sure never falls into the wrong hands. So we're going to go ahead and take this thing and dismantle it. There's just too many dangerous things on this wand. Okay. Let's drag ourselves over this way. We don't have any digging to speak of right now, which is definitely a bit of a shame. Okay. We need to get past this guy. Here we go. So we do have two plasma crosses now, which is interesting. Um, how am I going to do this? I don't need the all seeing eye. Dunk spent uh, nine hours on this seat. Why did he spend... What was he doing, Teal? Was he just struggling to get going or, or what? Because, yeah, it has been like kind of a brutal seed. So I, I could see it being one of those things where it's just like, oh my god, I need to, <laughs> need to spend so much time to get going here. Okay, the medic came in here, which means that I can kick a bunch of fish and he'll have to try and heal them. Which means uh, easy healing for me. Very convenient. He was looking for Swapper spell. Oh, what was he doing with Swapper? Was he doing, like, dumb deer stuff? Because that th I've been having a lot of fun with that. He was making the Latali wand again. Which which one's the Latali wand? At this point, Latali has a lot of wands. <laughs> making a world telly. Oh, I see. He didn't want to go with the Homebringer version. He wanted to go with the deer version. Can you heal these fish? I think the fish are, like, moving based on where I am, maybe. Maybe I should drink some of the water or something. It might be the strat. Just gonna try to drain this a little bit in the hopes that, uh, makes it a little bit easier for him. I don't want to, like, kill the fish. I just want to get healing. They heal fish? Yeah, so they, they'll heal anything that they deem friendly, and, uh, fish are a friendly faction. So, it's one way of getting a bunch of potential uh, healing going. It's it's annoying as hell to get them in here, but sometimes they'll just follow you randomly, and that's when you kind of get free heals. It's very convenient at that point, I would say. There should be some damage fish in there. Come on. You can do it. And obviously this is kind of slow. Oh no, I killed a couple. Come on, you gotta heal them. They're gonna die. Uh, is there a way to make the fish attack you? Um, no. You could give them perks that could deal damage to you, though. More hate? No. So they, they just don't have an attack animation. The only way to get them to deal damage to you would be having a, um, a thing. Because they, they're, they're, uh, innocent creatures, right? No innocent creatures will have the ability to attack you. Uh, at least not directly. There, there could definitely be some situations where I could... I could conjure something where they deal damage to you. Like, if a sheep is on fire and the sheep uh, runs at you and then dies, it could set you on fire, for example. That that could be a feasible situation, potentially. Um, we're gonna do this. And let's just check and see if this fires. Uh, that does indeed fire. Uh, aren't you an innocent creature? No, definitely not. <laughs> I wouldn't say so. Quite the opposite, in fact. Alright, um... That seems okay. Like, I don't love it, but I also don't hate it. I guess we could do this. 
and this. We'll put that up. Mina is very guilty. M Mina is has been, well they haven't been proven guilty so i don't know maybe they're not guilty okay so that wand will do immense damage i think i want concentrated light on here so that way it reduces the cast delay a little bit um okay so that's good enough this wand just needs to be disabled entirely because it's incredibly dangerous um and we're gonna hope these three wands are what are what will do it Yoriel says, uh, dude, every time I come back to the stream laying in bed, uh, yeah, get a yeah, Mick yeah, delivery yeah, commercial. Yeah. I don't want fast food. I want Noita Street for sleep. Dude, the, the, getting ads is the worst thing on earth, and I hate ads so much. Lord Gromper, thank you for the follow. I hope you've been enjoying the stream so far. But yeah, pretty pretty much every night I, I like watch like a little bit of YouTube before I go to sleep on my switch and I can't get ad block on my switch. So it's just like, all right, I guess I'm going to get absolutely ass blasted with ads. And it sucks insanely hard. Mina was, uh, wasn't the name, but rather, uh, just, uh, meant me. I, I mean, I, I think that the, that's the whole point, is that the character is a self-insert of you, right? I did drop the wrong wand. You are correct, Sped Silver. Thank you for pointing that out. We'll have to come back around and do this the proper way yet again. Another Berserkian, look at that. Another Ambrosia, look at that. <laughs> There's so many Ambrosias. That's uh, that's one of the redeeming th parts of this run, for sure. Uh, let's dump this, that. And another teleport up. The other day, 20, second, uh, 20 seconds of ad. For a few seconds clip with uh, about the... Yeah, th that was really stupid. I don't know why that was a thing. Alright, this Ambrosia flask has decided to die which is very sad hardly knew ye ambrosia i guess it was just that upset that i didn't take it last time Alrighty. this time we're gonna go and kill the boss and i guess it, depending on our setup we might be able to enter into the frozen vault now as well i would like to get the frozen vault out of the way that's something that i really want to do Okay, so I'm gonna try and make sure that I can shoot the, um, the bridge. Okay, we only barely survived that. That was insanely close. That was so insanely close. Watch this. That beam would have absolutely destroyed me. That was super duper close. They're probably dead. If I had to guess. Yep. Good stuff. All right, and we did get a decent uh, shuffle no looking want. Whoa, whoa, whoa! All righty, fun, fun. Um, we do have unlimited of those. Hmm. Hmm. Seems fun. That uh, that beam was uh, a trigger with a plasma cross on it. Yes, Belbereth. Uh, well, no, the, the beam wasn't the trigger with the plasma cross on it. That, that was just their default shot before the uh, plasma beam took over. Uh, I want this thing. The tentacles are pretty funny. Yeah, it's uh, it was very scary, for sure. Okay, I think we're going to go to the next floor and um, do a very quick edit and then come back up. That's the game plan. Omega Saw Blade is horrifying, obviously. Uh, tentacle is a lot of fun. Worm launcher could be extremely useful with the speed up for digging. And uh, nuke orbit is unlimited, and this wand actually has the capacity to shoot it reasonably well. So we could make like a really funny wand with that. Um, yeah, we, we've got some pretty cool stuff. We've got some fun options. So let's go ahead and take advantage of them, shall we? And uh, yeah, this is what we'll clear the, uh, the the biome with. So we're gonna take this and. Omega Saw Blade's really fucking crazy. It's it's maybe like a little bit overkill, so I'm gonna leave it for now. Actually, this one needs to be dismantled properly, otherwise I'm gonna get fucking killed by it later. Um, this wand, I should keep that and this and uh, Worm Shooter is not unlimited. No, it's far too strong to be made unlimited. Imagine having unlimited digging unknown force. Imagine having such a, such a powerful setup. Um. 
Okay, we're gonna be setting ourselves on fire a lot uh, as of now. And I think I'm just gonna live with that. Pretty sure I'm just gonna say that's okay. Um, let's do a little something like this. Uh, so that's good. Do I want anything else on here? I do have room for, like, one more spell. I'm gonna put this on here as well. Okay, so this should be pretty freaking silly. Um, I guess I could do a triple and sneak this on here. And this will be my main wand. I'd like to get concentrated light on here, actually, now that I look at it, because I'm gonna need some cast delay reduction. So I'll get rid of the bouncing burst. Yeah, let's take a look at this thing. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's a little bit dangerous. Not sure how I feel about this one just yet. Seems... <laughs> it seems a bit risky, to be honest. Hmm. <laughs> I think we need to make some slight adjustments. I think the tentacle is going to be too much of an issue. Let's try that again. Yeah. That seems a little bit more reasonable, maybe. This bouncing burst also Help feels me. kind of uncomfy. I'm going to take that off, too. Okay. So this is what we're going to go with for our main wand. Uh, perfectly safe, I assure you. And this all-seeing eye can be made unlimited just by mousing over it. Just very convenient. Let's go ahead and get back up there, I guess, and we'll we'll do some stuff. I can hear the alchemist worrying. I wasn't really planning on going after the alchemist, but now that you mention it, that, that does sound pretty free, doesn't it? Um, I think that I can afford to do this, right? And yeah, that, that'll still shoot just fine. It's not amazing, but it's not the worst either. And we'll set it up on here. And uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to make as much room for uh, future gear as possible um uh, let's go let's go i tried shooting my first nuke a few days ago you uh, used ambrosia for the explosion but you didn't know at the time it would cause an earthquake so you died to falling rock yeah the falling rock from uh the explosions is actually way more dangerous than the nuclear explosion itself it can do uh like hundreds and hundreds of damage stacked up it's very scary so I, I don't blame you for dying to that unknown force. That's that's pretty normal, I would say. Let's try to blow this puppy open. Probably gonna have to use some stuff to make sure I don't have. Uh, and we'll, we'll go sit on this side for a second. I gotta be careful not to get like dunker slammed by having some crazy shit fly bucket back up at me. I remember seeing that clip a couple times and just having my mind blown. I'm pretty sure what happened. So, some of you might know the the clip that I'm talking about, but basically like an earthquake chunk fell down and then flew back up and hit him in the face. Um, and I'm pretty sure the reason why that happened was due to... Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to get this orb, am I? Uh, the reason why that happened was because there was, like, a little bit of liquid and something... Uh, like, a solid... The solid earthquake chunk landed on, like, a tiny, thin line of liquid, which is at his loading line, and it, like, bounced up and hit him. Uh, and, like, that, that that's, like, a really, really weird effect that can happen. But I'm fairly certain that's how he had died in that clip. That was BS. Yeah, that was like one of the craziest deaths I've, I've seen in this game. There's there's some really bullshit deaths that I've seen, and that, that one's way up there. It's got to be like a top 10, I would say. Let's see here. Die and learn? Exactly, Shermanator. You die and learn. Let me jump up here. Oh man, I, I so badly want to show you guys the, the progress video that Alter Uko sent me the other day. I, I don't think I'm going to... I'm not going to show anything until I can put something in your hands, though. I think I think that's going to be the, the way to do it. And uh, I, I think pretty soon we'll have, like, a, a character creator that you guys will be able to play around with. And that that's when we'll, um, we'll start letting you goof around with it. That'll be fun. You like his crash clip? You just saw it today. I'm not sure which one that one is. Uh, the clip is in this vid. Oh, let me take a look here, Teal. Um, oh, yes, this, this was his, um, 
<laughs> yeah, that's a great video deal. I love that one. What's up with the teleport not working half the time? Looks very odd. Uh, it's because long teleport fucking sucks. That's why. Um, if it goes outside of your loading range, then it just straight up won't teleport you. It's really, really annoying. But that is just something that you kind of have to deal with if you're using uh, long teleport. Crashed as he went into a parallel world, restored in the game, uh, and in the middle of Cursed Rock and insta-died in the long run. Yeah, unknown. I've had that happen to me at least once as well. That's a, that's a standard one for sure. Okay. Uh, lots and lots of stuff to destroy, that's for sure. You gotta be very careful around all this falling rock. Hmm. We're very, very destructive, which is obviously a positive and a negative. Okay. Um. I have a decent feeling that I'll probably just one-shot the boss, if I had to guess. We'll see. Well, maybe not. He's, he got his shield up in time, which is pretty annoying. There it is. All right. Well, there goes Alchemist. He's very, very susceptible to explosives, so that's pretty much par for the course. Um, gonna be kind of annoying acquiring those. Oof, indeed. He has been poofed. Um, what do I want out of these? I think I want the Gamma and the Phi and the Tau. There we go. <laughs> it sounds like my toddler, toddler very destructive, which is both positive and negative. Gamma for worms, yeah. And we should be able to, like, shoot worms at an insane pace as well, which should be helpful. Okay, so we're going to try and clear the, um, the level over here, which might be really hard. I gotta take a look at this sky island. Oh! Pog, it's a it's a it's a pedestal uh, skyline. That's really cool. Tips for killing this boss for the first time: um, use that exact digging path that I used the Oriel. Go go around the top left and and dig in, and um, either use something explosive or use something that uh, can deal like a crap ton of damage. And this, the shots that he can reflect back at you aren't super dangerous. Don't use a machine gun. Use, like, one really, really strong shot. Also, probably have some way to teleport so you can dodge his shots more easily. That's a, that's a big, uh, important, I would say. Uh, does the, uh, no, it doesn't do anything special, but it is very cool. It is very pog to see such a thing. It's quite rare. Quite a rare treat for that kind of sky island. Uh, and I'm trying to get a good picture of this one. This one's in an awkward spot. There we go. Decent. Decent. Why does the background flicker? That's the nuke. It's the nuke going off. Yeah, good, good luck. It's a tough fight. Uh, there's a lot of things that can go wrong in it, uh, when you're first learning it. But it is, uh, it is consistent once you get used to it. Okay. So we need to get the orb out of here. That's my only goal for this run is acquiring the orb from the bottom of this place. So that is what we're going to work on. Um, clearly, we are clearing this place pretty well, judging by the, um, the way things are going. The way the gold is just kind of flinging around in here, which I don't really need because I've got, like, basically infinity gold. Um, there we go. All those guys are alive, but not for long. Ah, yes, exploring the biome. Indeed, Wandable. <laughs> this is... This is... Listen. <laughs> this, is, this is how our ancestors used to explore. This is how North America got explored. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, how is this the most viewed clip of uh, Dunker Slam? Because it's an origin story, that's how. Wow. I don't know what happened over there, but it happened. Or it's an origin story, so it, 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 of course it's very highly viewed. Running a little bit low on my uh, my stuff. There we go. Enemies alive, imagine. 
Imagine enemies being alive. You explode the biome. Hang on, I gotta, gotta heal. Man, this, this is such a cool one. Ow! Freaking tentacle. Coming out of nowhere. What do we have over here? Ooh, that's kind of fun. <laughs> it's like, uh-oh, a single enemy with 25 HP. Uh, let's see here. Stuff. Uh, if you explode the biome, you've explored it all. Since there isn't any, uh, thing to explore. Yeah, ex exactly, Flushy. It's perfect. Usually deleting the level is a good way to clear it. True. Ow. I keep taking so much fire damage from this wand. I'm definitely gonna have to- Oh my god! I'm definitely gonna have to change it in a moment. Uh, Vlad says, uh... Oh wait, I already read that one. Okay. Let's see here. Eggs. Many eggs. Not very helpful. Not really what I'm after. God damn, this wand just like direct it- Direct it's everything guaranteed. Very, very nice. All right. Let's jump down here. Invisible heezy with a wand, huh? That's kind of spooky. Um, I gotta be careful not to, like, electrocute myself. That's definitely a problem. Not to mention all the, the debris. I'm definitely closing in on uh, dying to debris range, which is problematic. But hopefully we'll be okay. Um... No, no, we, well, I, I guess on, um, the, the, the summits we, we used to, Sexy Girl. I, I haven't done anything like that in a long time. Let's grab all of this. My goodness. My goodness. So many enemies. All right, we should be almost at the bottom now. Hopefully we'll be able to, to grab the orb soon. Then we can get the hell out of here. That would be ideal. This is kind of a fun wand. It's got some pretty good stats. Um, I don't think it's good enough though. Uh, are you actively trying to experience what the enemies feel uh, when they get a tablet to the head? I'm not. Uh, that, that's just sort of like a, a secondary thing that might end up happening to me. What do we have here? Ooh, reduce lifetime, that's fun. Reduce lifetime is like, uh, one of my favorite spells. I don't really get to use it too often these days, pardon me. Just because it ends up not being as powerful as, uh, a lot of the other setups that I can possibly use. Okay. Let's see here. Just blow that guy up. Blow that one up. <laughs> there, there's basically nothing left alive. Somehow a medic is alive, which is kind of crazy. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, why? We didn't even get the teleport off. I hate it when that happens. I gotta not run and just shoot. That, that's probably the strat for a lot of this. Okay. Just, just like a couple more shots and we're good to go. My, my sound is just like completely cutting out, so I'm not sure if it's working or not. How you doing, Rich? Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. This is very dangerous. The ducks run. That was a load of damage you took. That was. That was a that lot, was of, damage. lot of damage. Haley is taking. There's nothing in the vault, quite literally. Indeed, Max. <laughs> the vault? What's that? I don't. It seems pretty crappy. Uh, there's, there's nothing in here. It's just a big, empty, burnt hole. Freaking. Oh, there was a friend over there. That's actually super rare. Did you see that big slime explosion? That means there was a, a super rare friend spawn. That's That used to be the only way you could find him, actually. Is in here. It's pretty fun. Pretty fun and interesting. But yeah, Anani Badger, thank you so much for the 14 months. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so distracted right now. Thank you for strengthening the Armada for all this time. I hope you're doing well. I appreciate that. Let me shoot these guys really quick. Good stuff. Um, is this a wand that I want to, like, leave with? Like, this will be my prize? I don't know. It seems kind of bad. Maybe we should just leave. Maybe that's the play. What is this guy shooting? Wow, he's shooting me from so far away. It's kind of crazy. Ow. I was a little bit closer than I would have liked. Okay. 
Are we actually getting, like, no wands out of this place? That's kind of what it's looking like. And I definitely need to change my wand away from this, because this is very, very dangerous. It's just way too high of a likelihood of me just randomly getting domed at this point. I feel very unsafe. Oh, man. Okay, let's take a look at this wand, and I think no matter what it is, we should just leave with it. Damn it, it's just more of the same garbage. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving, let's get the hell out of here. We're jumping up. Man, what a level. What a level. Or should I just say what level? Not even what a level. <laughs> There's one more wand over there. That guy's explosion immune though, so I'd have to direct hit him to kill him. It'd be kind of a pain in the butt. All right, so we're now on very low HP. Hopefully we can go and acquire um, the full heal from the dark cave. It might be a bit of a pain in the butt, but we do have the digging to do it. So I'm kind of banking on that working out. We're just going to dig down next to the tree. That tends to be like a pretty good spot to dig down from. Um, and also epilepsy warning, I suppose, because we're going to be getting the above ground black and white flashes happening. Dark cave, what cave? Yeah, the dark cave down here. You know the one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's it's going to be the nuclear cave after this. The nuclear hole. What was once a cave is now just this. Dang it. I'm losing out on places to stand on. Okay. Let's see how far down we went. Um, We're almost there. Got a little bit of a ways to go still. Kind of like the Sampo. Look at the weird art. What the, What is that? Is that a reference to like one of their previous games or something? I feel like that's what it has to be. Can I get a visual down here? No. I hate that that's a thing. I don't know what I do. I guess I just keep exploding until I can just get all the way down. Whoa. I don't know what I just hit there. 53 life. This is getting kind of iffy. I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this one bit. There's mages in there now. Okay, we, I'm giving up on that. Egg for worm blood? Um, that might be strats, yeah. Nuke the hearts till they're under the darkness. That is actually a potential strat, but with that mage down there, it's very scary. I don't really want to take that route. I'm just going to shoot all these guys and hopefully we'll be okay. Wow, they're all over here. Looks like they've murdered the shit out of the worm, too. And acid does not uh, cause them to bleed. Mostly seeing eye. Yeah, all seeing eye my butt. What a what an annoying perk. <laughs> or uh, just just spell, not perk. It doesn't work properly. Did they actually manage to murder all of the worms? I think that little blue chunk there is a worm piece, maybe. Um, it definitely is. Yeah, that's a problem. Looks like they killed the worms. Unless there's another one down here somewhere. I would imagine... Oh, hey, there's a, a worm tunnel. Perfect. So one of them did survive. Just need to land our shots here. And then we'll be good to go. Hopefully he dies soon. That would be ideal. Da would cry at this. <laughs> the, the worm deaths. Yeah, being able to get some all-seeing eye is very, very helpful. Or not all-seeing eye, some of the, the worm blood. There we go. Pretty good. That'll be enough. Now I'll be able to actually get a visual on the situation. Which is ideal, because I kind of need to be able to see what I'm doing to do it. That That's part of why I haven't completed the European Extreme. That crazy mod, because it's just like, oh yeah, you don't get to see. It's like, oh cool, yeah, that's fun. People love that. People love not being able to see, right? I hate the fact that this wizard exists. I have been hit. <laughs> the two hearts are right next to each other, which is very amusing to me. Okay, we're risking our tablet. We got it. These guys actually eat tablets, but if you kick hard enough, they can't, uh, they can't eat it fast enough. So there's that. Um, okay. So we're pretty much ready to go. Hey, it's me! I've got a wand. Now he's probably dead. <laughs> 
it's a decent likelihood that that mage is now dead. Or that, that old wizard. There we go. Let's try to gather some of this gold up. Um, wow, that's cute. I wonder what I was doing with that. Hmm. Looks like an old boss killing wand, maybe. That's my best guess. But I don't really have any need for it. Okay. So, um... I think Nuke Orbit has kind of outlived its usefulness. It's done its thing. It's run its course. Let's go ahead and swap it out for literally anything else, I think. Hmm. Um, let's see here. We got random damage, which isn't going to do anything. This thing on its own is going to hit insanely hard, but it's got some serious spread. And I don't have any reduction, unfortunately. What is causing the spread on this? I guess there's just a couple crappy spells on there causing most of it. Hmm. Penta Orbit, I've seen that. Wait, what? You got homing? I do. Time to sleep? Have fun, Noiton? I will. Unknown Force, I will. Hmm. Uh, I want Magic Bolt. I, I hate that that's even something I'm considering at this point. It's so bad. It is quite terrible, but that's where we're at on this run. Okay, so we want a gamma, um, triple spell, bouncing burst, bouncing burst. Like so. We had a lot of fun with propane tanks and uh, bombs materialized uh, the other day. Does that work, Skull? That's really neat. That, that's one of the ones that I haven't actually tried. Wow, this thing is just going wild. Okay. I don't know what's going on with it. It's getting, like, giga-yeeted. That's really weird. Um, okay. So that'll be good. Or good enough. Has anyone actually found, uh... Or figured out the average of av uh, of random damage? Um, so it's it's got, like, a bunch of thresholds where it hits. So it can do a maximum of 80 and a minimum of, like, minus 60. So it goes minus 60, minus 40, minus 20, 0, 20, 40, 60, 80. Um, and those are the the numbers that it can hit. Um, and I, I don't know how it averages, but I would assume that it's probably like an equal chance between all of them. How you doing, Hippie Freak? Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. All right. Um, so this wand is good. And by good, I mean functional. Um, and this wand is a bit of a meme. But hopefully we can improve said meme. Wow, that tentacle. <gasps> Look at how fast that tentacle goes. Holy shit. Tentacles deal damage based on their speed, so um, that's kind of cracked. That's insane. That'll probably just shred everything. It averages to plus five. Interesting. That, that does sound like it, it adds up, though. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, let's dump this thing, and these are three wands. I, I think that random damage is useful if you're on if you're using like a machine gun wand. If you're not using a machine gun wand, it stops being useful. That that's pretty much the the rule of thumb with it. Um hey, we got luminous drills on this level that I didn't know about. That's huge. Now we can actually shoot fast and stuff. It's kinda nice. Kinda nice and good. Um, so let's just replace that with this and um we're, we're closing in on being able to shoot fast. Maybe, maybe this as well. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now we're talking. And then maybe like a light to spell wrapper. And then we're good to go. Um, still slow, actually. Interesting. Um, hmm. Why are we slow? Is it cast delay? It's probably cast delay. Yeah, we need even more cast delay reduction. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just need a slightly better wand now. That's kind of crazy. Um, I think I don't need it to shoot that fast, though. We're just gonna go with the more... The more even pace. It's funny that we can just, like, yoink... I'm pretty sure we should be able to just yoink these spells. Maybe our... Like, I think our tentacle's actually going too fast. Okay. So that's pretty good. Wow, that's a cool one, too. I've got so many, like, random cool things. It's crazy. Um, all right. This wand is pretty much dead to me. I'm just going to dump it. Also, I I'm just going to double check just to make sure. 
Um, the sound is fine, right? Because for, for me, my, my headset's just going crazy. I, I think it is fine, though. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm, I'm hoping it's fine. Okay, let's go after the dragon next, I think. That's the game plan. Touch of Japan. <laughs> is, is that what this wand is now called? Sounds good? Okay. Getting slapped by tentacles at the speed of light. Yeah, that'd be terrifying. You you wouldn't know what hit you. Oh yeah, this thing can shoot through walls too, which is nice. I do enjoy shooting through walls on occasion. There we go. I gotta I gotta make it, it the more projectiles I stack up, the faster the tentacle will go. So if I can get a larger wand with decent stats, then we should just be able to shred super hard. Um, should we go after the pyramid boss chat? We, we've done our main objective. At this point, we're, we're just kind of goofing around and we could go in the game whenever we want. Check out my message. I can hook you up with a new, uh, a new headset. I, I saw that, uh, Phoenix. I, I'm currently contemplating. I got to look over all of the, the options that uh, I've got. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll make sure I have a message to you by Friday. Uh, all bosses. I, I, I wasn't planning to make this all bosses. What bosses have you killed on this run? I've killed Pit Boss, I've killed uh, Alchemist, and now I'm just wandering around. Oh yeah, and I can kill MOM really easily, but I don't have a good way to get to MOM, which kind of sucks. Tentacle all the bosses. I don't, I don't think most of the bosses will die to a tentacle. Oh, how you doing, Kate? Bug guy. Always good to see you. Um, just saying hi, glad to catch a bit of the stream. I'm, I'm glad you were able to also. Uh, let's see here. Man, these worm tunnels are a little bit thin for, for Noita. Ow! I hate it they, that they come back around and smack them in the face. Frickin' worms. Oh, man. I saw... Uh, I was I was just, like, wandering around on the internet, as one does. And there, there was, like, a, a, a Reddit post um, that was, like, a leech eating a worm. And it was really, really creepy. This thing looks neat. I've not seen one like this. Let me try to get a good picture. I like that it's got, like, the, the empty middle there. Cool parabola. Yeah, it does that. Yeah, it was it was just a leech eating a worm, and it was, it was just kind of terrifying. Oh, I was really hoping to shoot the gold. Bad chest. Why, why, why is that bad chest, sexy girl? I don't understand bad chest. That's going in my Skyland folder. Exactly, Skulldale. I, I miss the, the Steam uh, sound effect for when you, you take a screenshot. I don't know why they got rid of that. It's kind of disappointing. Oh, hi. Um, well, that's a good thing to have around. I hope he lives. Oh, because I said Reddit. Reddit is bat chest. Is that how that works? Interesting. Um, oh, goodness. Those guys are dead. This thing is actually wild. So the tentacle can deal damage through his shield because it's got some weird special characteristics. It's kind of a janky one. I kind of hope that that uh, heart mage is still alive. This video, it's probably that video, Hippie Freak. Oh no, the, the guy burnt to death. That's a shame. And where there's one, there's oftentimes more though. That's a pretty crazy wand. Yeah, it's very interesting. I've been enjoying it so far. It's it's weird to see like the damage thresholds on it because it's like oh it did 25 damage and then it's like oh this time it did 500 damage. It's just how inconsistent the tentacle like hits. It's really weird. It seems like if I get like perfect tippers, it does really well. The pink leech and the worm spits out a little spooge of blood. Uh, yeah, that that was the thing that I'm like. At first I'm like oh that's weird. Oh, huh. That's, that's, that's interesting. And then, like, when the little blood spat out, I'm like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> it's, it, it just got so much more real in that moment. Because, like, it's, it's just, it's just a worm. But it, it doesn't stop the fact that it, it did, ju you just, like, watched it die, right? It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. There's a reason I don't kill bugs, and it's because I, I, it's like a living thing, you know? It doesn't matter how small it is. It's still alive. There, there was a, a video of a leech eating a worm on the internet that I saw earlier this morning. Casual watcher. I think Hippie Freak linked it. Um, do we want this? 
we want these? Can I can I get even more crazy? I don't know if these are gonna be good. I don't think they are. I'm gonna not bother with it. Okay, let's grab one of these. We're up to five warps, which is pretty cool. That's not true at all, sexy girl. That is that is a terrible way to think about things. Hence the cap, I imagine. Uh don't answer if you don't want to, but are you a vegetarian? I am not a vegetarian. I will eat pretty much whatever. And I, I do realize that that might be a little bit hypocritical after me saying I don't eat, uh, or I, I don't kill bugs. But yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I have been like, I don't know. I've, I've just been trying to live my life. I, I, I would say that like if you eat meat, I mean, that's for a purpose, right? That is to live. And uh, there are some meats that are, like, quite cheap. And that's generally what I sustain off of. Like, chicken and beef are both quite cheap. Um, where do naked cats lie in that scale? Oh no, peppermints. <laughs> Aren't they both cute and funny? I'm pretty sure naked cats would definitely be, like, a combination. And, and I guess may maybe depending on your taste as well. Okay. So, we've got some pretty good stuff going here. How can I improve? I just need a better wand. Need to get Frozen Vault Orb? Yes, I, I went and got Frozen Vault uh, Orb already, Baker. We now have acquired it. We've got five orbs. Holy Earthquake Batman, indeed. We, we were doing some er preliminary testing with our wand earlier. And that happened. Ambrosia to tower. The 26 cast one would be really cool. Oh, Belbereth, why do you make such good ideas? It would be really, really cool. Is that the challenge of this run? What's difficult about it? I mean, it's a scary biome that can kill me real easily if the wrong thing attacks me. But that said, I ended up uh, just kind of exploding the entire level. Chazu says, I bought Hades instead of Elden Ring. It's a blast. It's a really good game, and I recommend it to you. Um, it's it's something that's on my list, but there's just so many games on my list. Definitely something that I that's gotta it, it, it'll it'll come around at some point, I'm sure. There'll probably be like a, a crazy DLC that they'll put out, and I'll be like, alright, we're we're gonna jump on the Hades train. But if, if I'm being real, one, one of the big things that I'm, I'm really unsure of about Hades is that it looks like it's a roguelike that's really, really easy. Um, like, losing in that game is, is something that happens for sure, but I see people win more than they lose. And that, I guess that could be because they're really good at the game, but... You know, even people who have picked up the game, like, day one. Like, just kind of crush it. You know? Just do a challenge run. I mean, I, I guess. Maybe. Hades is pretty accessible. Yeah, like, I, I don't have a problem with an easy game. That's fine. But generally, when it comes to roguelikes, if I beat it... If I beat your roguelike the very first time I play it... Um... I feel like, I don't know, it, it, it takes away a lot of the incentive to continue playing it. For, for me, at least. They have an, a difficulty uh, system. You can ramp up the difficulty on it. Oh, interesting. It's easy to win. It's hard to win fast. Interesting. Hades base is easy peasy, but the challenge system makes it fun. Okay, so they've got like a challenge system built into it. Okay, that's good to know. Dude, this wand is so jank. Wand is insanely janky. Yeah, we're gonna try and go all the way down and uh, get the uh, the 26 cast tower wand, and hopefully we can use that to make something really cool. Dude, this wand makes no sense. It's actually just wild. Uh, Thank what's up? You. Apparently not, JT. But, but you are now for for 15 months. Thank you. Thank you very much, JT. I really appreciate that. Do I make games? I made games when I was a kid. And uh, I, I guess kind of again to some degree. And by when I was a kid, I mean like when I was in school, I guess. Because it was, it was mostly like middle school, high school that I, I was making games. 
Oh no. That guide you made for holding infinite wands uh, items uh, should it, wait. Should in just publish? Uh, oh, should you just publish the wand part items were scuffed? Um, it, let me do another run at that, and I, I'll make like a YouTube a bespoke YouTube recording of it, Max, and it'll be super clean for you to cut and put together, if you like. Because now I know significantly more than I did when I first tested it, and I can be a lot more like, um. What, what, what would the word be? I can be a lot more precise with my wording and uh, my descriptions of it. So that, that'll probably be the, the best solution. Th thank you for asking, though. You can crank the difficulty way up to the point where one to two guys will uh, go for that level of difficulty. That's cool, Peppermint. Authoritative. Yeah, so, something like that. I, I definitely understand the subject a lot better than I did earlier, which is good. Um, you know, for, for a long time, I just wasn't really too interested in the glitch because it's just like something that nobody really wants to use because it's so broken. But, you know, there, there's probably some people out there who are just like, I want to just break this game. And that's a that's definitely a part of it, right? Does melee immunity cover saw blade orbit? No, because saw blades are slicing damage. So they definitely don't. There's, there's no part of any saw blade that is melee damage. The only melee damage spell in this entire game is uh, the, the tentacle wand. Everything else is um, some other form of damage. There, there is technically uh, like contact damage, but that's not a spell. Is there slicing immunity? There is not slicing immunity. Slicing does not have any immunity, and that's part of what makes it so dang dangerous. It, it remains one of the scariest remaining things in this game, even after all the, the other crazy discoveries to make yourself immune to all sorts of damage. I don't even use uh, the exploit 1 plus uh, 4 plus 1 wand. Wait, don't even like to use the 4 plus 1 wand's exploit, but today I had to. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, Skulldale. Like, literally, it's a part of the game, and until they remove it, you might as well use it. Because they, they probably would never remove it if nobody... If, if there was, like, a thing where it's like, Oh, yeah, nobody ever uses this, so why would we bother fixing it? Although, even then, I don't know. It's not really a big deal. It's, it's just, like, a, a fun thing to mess around with. It's, it's a feature. It's a feature until it's a glitch. That's how, that's how I look at all the things in Noita. We are taking a lot of damage, and I don't like it. I'm just trying to jump down here. I don't know what's going on in the other room, but I'm hearing Michaela complaining very loudly at maybe the cat. <laughs> I'm not sure. They'll make it into a, pa uh, a perk and patch the bug when the next Noita update comes. Copium. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Melee immunity also makes you immune to bite damage, which only Tiny has. I thought uh, Dragon has bite damage as well, Peppermint, but you are correct. Um... Bite damage is a really rare uh, damage type that only the enemies have access to. And it is uh, definitely one of the most dangerous damage types in the whole game because of how ramped up it is. It's very, very scary. Yeah. Dragon and Tiny. They're, they're similar enough. I don't, I don't blame you on lumping them together. Okay, so I don't need multicast anymore. We just need to put a bunch of spells on here and then laugh. These things are really, really expensive. I'd like to go with cheaper spells. The The more cheap spells we can use, the better off we're gonna be with this. So we're just gonna try and uh, rotate out all of the expensive ones. First time I fought Tiny, he dealt 1k damage in a single hit. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> it sounds pretty, pretty much par for the course there. I'm gonna add these. And um, this wand is getting very out of hand. I don't really need these multicasts anymore. Uh, this can become my new one of these wands, I suppose. Like, sir. That goes there, that goes there. The only reason it didn't insta-kill you is because of saving grace. Yeah, saving grace, insanely pog. <laughs> it's it's just one of the best spells in the entire dang game. Or one of the best perks, rather. I, I, th I do think that it is the best perk at this point. Um, which might be, like, a little bit controversial, but I, I do think that it's insanely good. It's very, 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 very good. Okay, let's shoot this thing. 
I don't even see the tentacle move anymore, do you? I don't even see the tentacle on here. Maybe it's moving so fast that it, it like, can't be seen. Let's try taking a bunch of shots off and seeing if we can spot it. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll leave it like that. That seems fun. Um... Yeah, it seems pretty good. It seems pretty darn okay. What a- what a goofy wand. It is in no way good, but it is interesting at the very least. It'd be nice to have, uh, like one more thing on here. To- to help with the damage. Or help with the digging. Let, let's take a look at what our damage looks like with this thing. It's probably gonna be pretty crap. I mean, that's okay. Like, it's- it's not bad. I'll take it. Um, we want to buy, like, all the- the super cheap spells. The more cheap spells we have on here, the faster all of our shots can go. And, um, yeah, that's- that's fun. That is fun. Here we go. Uh, we'll dump this thing out. And this thing should be even faster now. We're just trying to get our lightning bolt to go as fast as possible. That's what I want. Is the- the fastest lightning. And because it's got that uncapped speed, every time we add another projectile, it'll go even faster. I'd love to get, like, a concentrated spells. That would go a long way, I think. Let's take a look at what the chain spell looks like. Oh, <laughs> wow. It looks really weird. Have I played TF2? TF2 was one of my most played games. I have played a lot of TF2. Um, it's a good game. But it's also one that I haven't played in a very long time. It's, it's one of those games where you, you look back at it fondly and uh, you you don't really go back and play it. I, I, I guess you could like go and like do with like a deck root or something. I, I, I played uh, like every class and I, I really enjoyed my time with the game, both on a competitive level and just on a casual level. Although I wasn't like super competitive and never like joined a Highlander team or anything like that. TF2 is not deserving of your time anyway. I disagree. I think TF2 is a game that, uh, is, is like a very, it, it's still good. It, it's just that, you know, I've, I've spent my time with it. No more dev, uh, and updates. Lots of bots now. I mean, there's one dev, right? I thought there was a single dev left. You're still hoping for TF3? I feel like the safe play for Valve is to sit on their fat butts and collect money from all the other developers. Like, there, there's no reason for them to do anything other than take money from everybody else because they're using Steam as their platform, right? Like that, that makes sense to me. It sucks, but it, it does seem like a logical move. I feel like I'm gonna end up killing one of these medics. <laughs> oh no, he's getting crit! He's getting crit real bad! Save a medic! We still need to heal each other. Heal each other! Yes, there we go. Valve doesn't make third games. What about Half-Life Alex? That's like a prequel to Half-Life 3, right? Or a prequel to Half-Life 2? I know it's a prequel for one of them. I can't remember which. Half-Life Alex uh, was made uh, as a cool VR challenge to them. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know. The, the thing that pisses me off about um, Valve in general is like sometimes they just make absolutely incredible like tech things. Like if, if you've ever played like the Alien Invasion Reactive Drop, that shit is so much fun. And, and like it's, it's probably one of the best twin stick, um, the traditional tr twin stick shooter style games ever. Um, I, I don't think that's too far off. Um, but, but at the same time, it's, it's like a game that they made for free for fun. And they're like, alright, here you guys go, enjoy this. And I think there's like a second one too, right? Half-Life Alex is a, a fantastic game. Yeah, that game is, is insane. It's very insane. This is Valve's Flatland employee structure. It's all they do now, they make tech showcases when there's an opportunity. Uh... There's an opportunity to... Yeah, it's it seems like it, Max. Okay. 
I guess we'll grab this thing. Pretty well. What game was their twin stick shooter? Um, it's like alien reactive drop. I can't remember the exact name. If I type in like reactive drop on Steam. Uh, react. Uh, alien swarm reactive drop. They, they have a, a game series called Alien Swarm. And it is just like insanely, insanely good multiplayer. Um, class based. Um, PVE. It's, it's, it's just really, really fun. And, uh, like, if you go and play that on the highest difficulty with three other friends, you will have an insanely good time. Like, it is disgustingly fun. Very, very good time. This thing is such a silly one. I don't think... Oh, I did see a tentacle there. I totally saw a tentacle at that angle for just a moment. I don't know if it did any damage, though. It's hard to. Yeah, it is a very, very hard game. You have to be super coordinated. Which is part of what makes it fun. Wow, did you see that treasure chest up warp? That was nuts. That was really weird. Huh. Just, just, just noita physics, I guess. So what's going on there? I have to give it a look. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a good one, Plushy. I enjoyed my time with it. And uh, obviously free is just the right price. Let me try to get a couple more of these puppies going. I'm going to use Ambrosia here, so that way I hopefully don't die. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm very scared. This wand is clearly bad. I was hoping for the plasma version. I didn't get it. Played it uh, co-op a lot with friends. Oh, nice, Phoenix. Yeah, that, that's definitely the best way to play it, in my opinion. Um, Pretty okay wand. We got... A tentacle timer and a um, short teleport. Those are both good. Very good items. I wish Noito was on mobile. I can just imagine it literally melting phones. That would be funny. That would be funny if it were on phones. Oh yeah, we still have uh, a freaking Skoda to deal with. That's terrifying. This is going to be rough. Okay, we need to do a little bit of this action. This is very, very spooky. All right, Steam Deck, I guess. But that's not, I, yeah, I guess that is mobile. That counts. My phone is overheating and the battery's at, uh, battery lasted 15 minutes. For, for what reason? Definitely getting noise on the Steam Deck. Yeah, that should be fun. Let's see, is there anything else here I want? I don't think so. I think we're good to go. We should put this tentacle over here, maybe. I don't even see the, the tentacle going up. It's so wild. Okay, let's roll and hope we get something good. Faster wand recharge would be pretty sweet. I think we take that. That is definitely solid. Let's grab one of these. We now have 463 mana regen, which is pretty good. Um, okay. Let's carry on. Yeah, it's not too uncommon to play on controller. Let's see here. Hmm. One of these. The gods are very angry with me. Who would have thought? Noita with motion controls jump by wiggling the phone. Phone flings out a hand. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Hey, Geek Tears, thank you so much for the raid again. Welcome on in. What were you up to today? What were you playing? Just run over this way. Gotta blow that guy up. Beautiful. Yeah, motion control Noita would be really funny. I wonder how that would work. You'd have to, like, set up with the... Uh, <laughs> just the right... Maybe you could do it with, like, a Wii Wheel or something. That could be fun. I'd love to use a Wii Wheel for that. I don't know how well we're going to kill things. Okay, we're, we're killing things pretty well. This thing is still decent. I am very surprised. Finally, I'll be able to play Noita from inside a real uh, mountain cave. Well. Okay. Man, this thing is so silly. I love the way the, the bouncing burst interact. Wow, did you see that treasure chest get yeeted? I need to get, like, a rock onto this wand or something. That would probably be really effective. 
because it would likely just get super launched, right? Swand runs out of mana so fast. Thankfully, we're, we're still living for now. I'm just going to try and go for the completion. Obviously, this wand is uh, not amazing, but um, it is very fun and unique, so I'm, I'm sticking with it. Sticking with it for now. We should be able to find like at least one wand on this floor, I would hope. Here we go. Um, maybe Geek Tears had, had missed my, my earlier... Uh, hello. Uh, how, how are you doing, Geek Tears? Everybody welcome on in Geek Tears and their community. It's, it's a really cool thing that they've got going, where it's it's kind of like a shared account where various people jump on and play different games. It's, it's quite neat. Um, here. Let me, let me give a, a shout-out. There we go. Uh, why? Wait. Why did you make the wand like this? Curse the wand. I, I wanted to show off the infinite speed that lightning has access to. That's what we're going. Of, of course, Geek Tears. Oh my goodness. There we go. We're, we're doing big damage. Big damage. And by big damage, I mean we're kind of lacking damage as well, but it's it's going. It's, it's going reasonably well with this thing. So just a couple more shots will end him. There we go. Um, I definitely think we should take an Orbit LARP on this thing. That would be insanely funny. Uh, so we'll take that. We could take another tentacle as well. Oh my god. This thing is actually gonna shred like this. Oh, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. There's there's the rock that we wanted too. I don't know if we'll be able to afford to put this on. It might be too expensive to have the rock. Yeah, I, th I think it is too expensive. Let's pull this thing off maybe. The rock didn't go nearly as flying as I was hoping it would. Do we gotta go without that? Infinite speed pollen? I don't think pollen gets the infinite speed, only the lightning does. Can Scout polymorph? No. This is fantastic? Yeah, it's, it's quite something. It's 10 shots to kill- Listen! J the infinite speed doesn't mean infinite damage, Anani. It's, it's a completely different stat, okay? We're not going for damage, we're going for speed. <laughs> it's different. Okay, uh, we, we're gonna roll these because they're not good enough. Oh, I'm out of money. Yeah, bouncing burst, that scales with speed. Does it scale with speed or does it scale with increase in velocity, Anani? That's right, it scales with increase in velocity. Shaking my SMH, dude. I thought, I thought you knew this video game. All right, we're gonna random the always cast on this thing. Egg. Fuck. <laughs> what happened? Why is it going crazy now? Because of the egg. What is egg doing that's causing it to go way crazy? I don't know. I have no idea why the egg is making it go crazy. I was polymorphed when fighting him the other day. Was, uh... Wait. Polymorphed when fighting him the other day. Was it a glitch? Now I'm not sure. Scode can't po polymorph, and he can't be polymorphed. So that those are, those are two things. Those are two separate things, I suppose. God, this damage is so bad now. The, the hollow egg is actually ruining this wand. It's kind of funny. And sad. Hmm. Do I want to use this on here? Maybe? Why do I have curtains behind me? Because it's good sound dampening, that's why. It was just him and me and you turned into a sheep. You probably got uh, some polymorph up warped into the room. That's very common, unfortunately. <laughs> As terrible as that sounds, that is something that happens quite regularly. This thing is, uh, doing pretty good at this point. I think we'll just leave it as is. And we'll just rip through everything that we see. Surprised that, uh, that little nerd survived that hit. I guess things are surviving attacks here. The tentacles are going so fast they can't even deal damage anymore, seemingly. You can see the tentacle is going, like, straight through the enemies. It did, like, a 17 damage crit because it hit with, like, one tiny segment for half a second. So I guess there's, like, a theoretical maximum 
that you can kind of hit because of the max speed. But maybe with the uh, with like a larger enemy, it'll be easier to hit them. Let's try. I don't know. It seems like it's not really doing much either. It's a shame. I was really hoping to get these tentacles to just like absolutely shred enemies, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. If you're recording sound anywhere, uh, it's an extremely good idea to have loose fabric or sound absorbent materials on the walls to remove echoes. Indeed. Indeed it is. It, 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 it's just very good sound dampening to have like a bunch of curtains. And I, I figured that would be... Um, it, it's Not only is it a lot less work than a bunch of sound foam, but it also like it adds a little bit of character, I think, too. Which is nice. Um... But I, I do think sound foam can look nice as well. I do have one wall with sound foam on it, but um, all the other walls are using the, the curtains just because that is um, what I have access to. That wand is very scary. I don't think I want to play around with that. My goodness, this thing is just shredding everything. I'm afraid about, like, yoinking a bunch of stuff into me. Saw a good video on how uh, to make sound boxes. Uh, walls with uh, old towels. That's really cool. Yeah, that, that could have been a, like another potential method. Wow! It's an always cast piercing one! Oh my goodness. Hang up some nice video game tapestries. Oh man, that would be sick. You could do some really cool stuff with that. I like that idea, Plushy. Would definitely have some pretty crazy stuff. That's an always cast Nala wand, which is kind of funny. Not helpful, but kind of funny. That guy's dead. That guy's dead. So is that one. Goodness, everything just kind of got launched away from me there. It's really weird. Okay. Um, we got one last kill that we need to do. One last kill us go, that is. He does scare me. But he's dead now. Okay. How can we spice this up? I think the answer is we have to go away from our our current design to a new design. Alf in the shop, sick. Yeah, I mean, we got a towel and, like, a bunch of other crazy stuff, too. Okay, so let's try to make a very cool guy wand. That's the plan. You should show chat how big of a damage piercing, accelerating, bouncing burst you can do. I don't have the setup to do that, though. Propane. What? Glass cannon will spice it up. True. I will probably grab glass cannon because why not? That's funny. <clears throat> 7,400 col uh, HP call me. Perfect. We can do that. We can do that. Um, we're going to use this as our always cast. And we'll have the short range homing on there. And we're going to pull everything else off. I don't want to use that. I will use that. I will use that. I won't use that. This, 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 that. Okay. And then we're going to move this up, and I'm going to put some cool guy spells on here, some some tentacle timers, um, like a freaking thigh with the one of these, and then like a towel. 960. Will this be the, uh, will this, oh wait, is this to be a New Game Plus run. No, fictional stakes. We're going to be doing our, our Giga New Game Plus run on a... Um, on on Sunday. So that way I can have some good continuity with it. Because I, I don't want to like have you go through like two days where you can't... You come back and you can't remember what we were doing last. That, that would be silly. So that's why I'm going to wait until the weekend's over. And then we'll continue with that. That's the game plan. Anyone ever played the Seed 666? Almost certainly. Um, I haven't, but I'm, I'm sure people have. Okay, let's uh, throw on some Luminous Drills. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, this. And some Bouncing. Actually, Bouncing Bursts aren't going to do anything here. But we'll add on the Tentacle. And one of these. And I think... I think it has to stay like this, maybe. I, I'm going to add, like, the triple spell onto the end here, and let's try this thing out. <laughs> Look at how terrified the statue is. 
Oh my god, the fear. I'm now a little terrified because I just weakened and cursed myself. I think this will work just fine. I think, I think this will be pretty- Where the fuck did these guys come from? Okay. <laughs> That's just weird. What the shit? Oh, we made infinites! Look at that! That's so cool! We accidentally made parasite infinites. That's so funny. That's like a super rare effect. Uh, at least for me. Uh, it happens for Nimspire all the time. God, I need to mess around with Parasite Infinites. They're, they're not like a true infinite. Can you tell me where they came from? So, when you do a tentacle timer into a tentacle, if you have like a certain interaction happen between the two of them, you can make it so the tentacle lasts forever. And if it's like attached to a spitter bolt, basically what happens is it increases the lifetime of the uh, the spitter bolt to whatever that tent tentacle timer or tentacle would last as. So if you have it set up just right, um, and you have it like reapply the effect over and over and over and over again, you can have it where the spell lasts pretty much forever, which is really really cool. And because of the the random spell that caused the short range homing, it homed onto one of these little guys and made them permanent. Or ma made the spell semi-permanent, which is cool. They, they, they came from the random projectile spell. That's where they came from, chat. Okay. We are going to go and risk our lives to look really, really cool. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's do this thing. Um, I'm kind of terrified. <laughs> I think we got him. <laughs> I think we got him. Oh my god. That is sick. That was that was really good. That was really, really good. Alrighty. Well that's the daily done and done. Pretty solid. Pretty pretty good little run. Listen, I'm not terrified about Colmy hitting me, I'm terrified about me hitting me. <laughs> that's that's the problem. You couldn't even see the damage numbers. Yeah, there's just too much chaos. Oh well, there goes there goes call me. Not too shabby. It was a two hour run. It was not intended to be a two hour run, but now it's time for some Noit and Nemesis, so let let's do this thing. I'm gonna take my first little BRB and uh, set up the, the Nemesis screen and all that. Seed one uh, thirteen thirty seven has funny shifts. Does it, sick bastard? That's neat. Um, okay. Let me move over here, and we're just gonna quit out. And, um, I got to set up. Hang on, here's some music for a second while I set this up. Where? Okay. And I'm gonna set up Noita uh, together. Anybody who would like to verse me in Noita Nemesis, that is what we're going to be doing next. And, uh, it's basically like Noita Battle Royale PvP. And it's a really good time. I've enjoyed it quite a lot, many times. Um, so let's go ahead and make the room. Alias Armada is the room name. You are all welcome to join. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a very quick BRB while I grab some water, use the washroom, all that sort of thing. Prepare yourselves, chat. I'm gonna just go ahead and swap over the, the title and whatnot. Let me do that here. Um, uh, Face me in some Noita Nemesis PvP action. Uh, there we go. And some SAP. Good. 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 Okay. I'm gonna reopen Noita. Oh man, so I saw Sea of Thieves got a 9 gigabyte update the other day. Does anybody know about that? It's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna be right back. I gotta, gotta grab my, my water. I gotta grab my wooda. Oh, also, we should do a little vote for what we should do on... What's the date? It's gonna be... Sunday? Monday. On Monday. We're gonna be doing a, a, a different game. We're gonna be doing our, uh... What's, what's the word? 
variety. We're going to be doing our variety day. That's the word I was looking for. So I need to know what you guys want to see me play. Um, I think we're going to do like a just one game. And we're just going to pick between like not very many. Uh, so I was thinking we could either play some Rain World or some Salt and Sacrifice. Um, so you guys can pick between those. And... Uh, I'll get like a general consensus now, and then I'll have a, a, a solid poll, which will be the, the final decision in the Discord. Uh, what should we play Monday? Salt and Sacrifice. Um, Rain World. I'll also put something else, just in case you guys aren't interested in either of those. But I definitely do intend on playing some Salt and sacrifice at some point on the channel and I want to complete Rain World for uh, the I, I want to at least play the DLC at some point on stream because it's super fun uh, and that's going to be a three minute poll I'll be right back I love Celeste music it's so good JT I gotta play Celeste at some point I played a little bit of it but um, I was like so early game I, I just did the stupid thing and I'm like oh this game is just way too easy for me I'm gonna just go play something else but re in reality it was going to like pump up and realize that now going back and looking um i also got to go back and play rock melee some more because i never completed the super end game shit in that game and it gets super wacky i really like some of the end game parkour in that okay yeah one second one second <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Alrighty. Okay. Let's do this. 
go ahead and swap back to our main scene. Anybody who would like to join us for some Noita Nemesis right now, um, <laughs> Sped Silver is being left all alone. Who else will join us? And some Noita Nemesis. Hang on, I gotta bring up the screen here. There we go. Let's do this thing. Anybody interested in uh, a little PvP of the Noita variety? You'll join? Okay, cool, Zybots. Oh, man. So I, I was thinking about... Um, what was I thinking about? I was thinking about PUBG and how I have so many memories, like, spread throughout that game. And, like, if, if I go and, like, look at the map, the original map of PUBG... I can, like, tell you a story from, like, every single little location. And, like, I, I look... I When I stopped playing that game, I look back with, like, a great amount of hate. Uh, I'm like, I hate this game. It sucks. It's the worst game. But now when, now that it's been, like, a bunch of time has passed and I, I look back at it, I'm like, god damn. I actually had a lot of fun with that game. And I've, I've got, like, a couple hundred hours in it or so. And, um... I don't know. It's it's one of those games at this point where it, I would regret going back and playing it almost guaranteed. But it, at this point, I've got like nothing but fond memories for it, which is really funny. Um, it, it, does anybody in chat have a game like that where you have good memories of the game, but if you were to go and play it, it would probably be awful? Because I imagine there's more games like that. Just 1x. Understandable, JT. It, it, it's definitely that kind of game. Block and load. Many old Facebook games. Block and load. Block and load sounds like a, a classic. I've, I've never... I don't think I've ever seen it. As you with Dota 2. I, I enjoy jumping on Dota 2 every now and then. Overwatch. Yes! Definitely Overwatch and Eater. That's a really good one. Uh, I, I fucking loved season one Overwatch, but you, you go, like, many seasons past that, and it's just like, oh, this got rough. It never captured the thing that made TF2 TF2, which was, like, the really casual, goofy nature of it. Um, just being able to drop into a server, I think, was, like, a big deal. And part of what made uh, TF2 special. War Thunder, but in reverse. Season one Overwatch was sick. I used to play Reinhardt in in season one, and I ca I called him Fat Genji because what I do is I would just like dive in and just fucking kill everybody with my hammer, and I'd just have my friend play support, and he'd just fucking fly after me and keep me all topped off. And I it, God, it's so much fun flanking with Reinhardt because back then people wouldn't like listen for footsteps or anything you can you could just like sneak up on a whole team get a free like six man alt and crush everyone it's amazing you almost got top 500 in that season that's awesome jalara it's really cool all right so we're gonna go with uh four people it's gonna be a little bit of a smaller room but i'm totally okay with that hopefully you guys don't mind anybody who would like to join us for some future no to nemesis rounds we're just gonna go ahead and get started here i was just I was doing a little bit of talking Sometimes it's nice to just hang out and chat, you know? <clears throat> I'm not very good at it, though. That's that's honestly one of my... I think that's one of my biggest weaknesses as a streamer. Is I often don't have a lot to say. Other than, like, stuff about the game. And that's largely probably because I haven't really done that much with my life. Or at least my, my memory fails me and I don't remember enough. To, to be like, oh yeah, here's this story about the time I jumped into a lake that was filled with sewage. You know, like that's that's a one-time story. I can't I can't just keep coming back to it. Um Alright. <clears throat> we have four people prepared. Everybody has anointed nemesis anointed together, locked in. Good luck, everybody. Let's do this. That's a good story though. It is a good story. And then we went and had to like line up for the shower and Everybody had to take turns showering, and, the, and then we played Yu-Gi-Oh. Good times. Good times. That's okay. It's a, it's okay not to be social? Definitely. But also, I do think that it's uh, very favorable, if, if you're an entertainer, to have, like, 
some stories to, st to sell or to tell. That's the word I was looking for. And um, yeah, j just like having things happening to you in your everyday life makes it a lot easier than trying to like go back five years and trying to recall like what happened when you were like in your graduating year of high school or whatever or how however far back you can recall i suppose but so sometimes it's easier than others i guess if you're like actively thinking about it it becomes a lot easier you get you gotta like find some way to like remember all those things sample i'm really so you uh panthic the how so oh my goodness this is a uh, this is a very spicy area look at all the things getting sent pretty good so far he said ha the seed has wait seed 10 has nice shifts does it how nice are we talking just don't go outside i don't think that's the the meaning behind sociopathic i think that means something else than that vlad look at that everybody's really taking their time i respect that uh let's take a look at where everyone is bed silver is over here with us oh my goodness taking some damage um, what's- I'm at 37 Neo points. Oh, Zyabots just went through. That's really scary. Something bad is probably about to happen. Yeah, I- I don't think that's what that means. It- it- I think that might be closer to- to asocial or something like that. But maybe I'm wrong. My bomb up warped and I really didn't want it to. <laughs> this is unfortunate. Should be able to sneak in here and check out this treasure chest. Get some big value. I mean, you certainly don't come across that way, Vlad. Oh my goodness, it's a bomb. That's not helpful at all. Oh, wow. Some spicy stuff here. No wonder nobody activated yet. Um, wow, we got long distance cast teleport. Holy shit. I don't know if everybody gets the same things. I don't know if I set it up that way. But regardless, we are going to be schmooving on everybody. You don't see me outside of chat. True. Prove lead. Okay, so people are going into the next level. Um, I'd love to activate something on people. I'm gonna activate this. It should be really annoying. We'll take that, and uh, we've got chainsaw, which is good. We'll take the egg as well, and bifurcate might be helpful, but I don't think I'm gonna take it. Do an all-seeing eye early cast here. We're happy to get rid of two of the three or two of the four wands here. Um, but we might not even have to. Wow, more teleports. Not that I need them. Not the, the useful kind of teleports either, unfortunately. That guy survived quite a few hits. Thank goodness we have Spitterbolt. Spitterbolt is actually just like the best starter uh, spell by a lot. It's very good. Well, Triangle Boss uh, blocks be gu sent guaranteed? That's a good question, Belvereth. I actually don't know. Um, they Nothing is sent guaranteed, but um, I do believe that they would have a chance to be sent. So, that, that might be a, a thing. That's what we got in this treasure chest. It's a luminous drill meme wand. It's got triple up spell on it, though, so it's probably worth taking. At least for the time being. Oh my god, they've fizzled us as well! This is so nasty. How you doing, Smirk? I feel like it's been a little bit. What have you been up to? Hopefully you're doing well. Um, you, you've been doing any, any gaming of any sorts? I've been seeing all sorts of good games coming out. I'm, I'm very excited to go and play Salt and Sacrifice later. Um, I'll be doing that soon, I think. Okay, let's dump all these. These enemies are quite spooky. Um, we don't have a true trigger, though. We've got, like, Spitterbolt as our best thing, which is not good. Yeah, let's try um, a little something like this, maybe. And then we can use the light to spell wrap us. It's not light. There it is. That's pretty good. Not keeping one Lumi Timer? I don't respect Lumi Timer. I think Lumi Timer is bad. Um, but I should take one. You are correct. Because if I get a mana, then it might be like the best strat we have for it. Even if it's not amazing, it is something at least. There we go. You got a job and just been working full time lately, so not much time for gaming, sadly. I got gotcha. you. Well, I, I hope it's uh, it's fulfilling work at least, or, or something that's worth doing. You feel that's that's always an important part of it. And if not, I hope you're at least getting some good stories out of it, because that that's one thing that I, I I do look back on 
as much as I, I hated all of uh, my jobs, I'd get, I did get some pretty funny stories from time to time. Which is, uh, you know, that, that's got value. Good stories are the best currency, true. Although I, I don't know if I'd be very happy if my boss is like, Oh yeah, here's a story for you. Fuck you, you're not getting paid. <laughs> it's like, oh good. Just what I, I needed. That'll, that'll really, that'll really keep me full. Just got tipped with beer today. That sounds like fun. Sounds like an interesting time for sure. Enemy sent my way. There we go. Uh, let's try a couple more of these. I'm really banking on this working out at some point. Okay. Oh, Jesus, there's Heesey coming. That's a problem. Okay, we're still pretty strong, so that's not too big of an issue. Heesey are top priority. Man, they are getting sent like crazy. I need to take a look at the situation here, maybe. Um, we can definitely make a better wand. Sounds like uh, an application on uh, Headhunter. Oh my god. Oh! oh my god, I can't believe that worked. There's no way that should have worked. That was nuts. Okay, we got buoyancy, so we can be a, a stealing man. This wand has zero aim to speak of. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, we got Matryoshka. That's terrifying. That's very problematic. Okay, let's try one of these. Uh, we're gonna buoyancy up and yoink that spell. There we go. I just want this mostly. We're gonna buoyancy this guy away from me so I don't have to deal with him. Um, Sped Silver has died. First one has gone down. Okay, gonna hang out over here. One guy gave me uh, another two with a, a bottle of crown. It's more common than you think. That's interesting. Zyabots has died as well. People are going down. It's just me and Dr. Cran now. My goodness, look at this tiny little nerd. There we go. Um, is there anything I can do to improve my wand? I think so. Okay. It's all seeing eye it up, and we, we gotta carry on. We can't afford to continue taking all this damage. Um, we gotta start sending some enemies of our own. That would go a long way. Um, this is very dangerous. Oh my god. That's so spooky, man. Oh my god. They've just permanently got hold of the one because of the Matryoshka effect. It's so bad. Your ghost got matryoshka <laughs> So you just turned into a tiny Noita? That's really funny if that's the case. Okay. This is super spooky. Um... I just want to look at the wand. Okay. That's good. Uh, we got energy orb. Wow, that's a crazy gravity spell. Very interesting. Okay, we, we need to get away from the Matrioche good enemies. Because otherwise we'll never survive. Um, that wand isn't good enough. Actually, I should have looked at it closer. Maybe it was. It was a good design, but it's just too early of a floor for it to be strong normally. Which is why I ignored it. Why are there so many small enemies? Because Matryoshka effect is currently active, which is causing all sorts of mayhem. Basically, every time I kill an enemy, a smaller version of that enemy will spawn in. And, uh, it will be very, very chaotic and difficult to deal with. Okay, um, this has a decent kill chance, so we'll hope that that works. Um, oh man, look at his HP. He went down to 7. He's probably gonna get a full heal, though. Um, huge. We can now heal. Uh, we got recharge reduction, which is going to be good for our damage output. Our recharge is pretty bad for mana. That is a matter eater always cast. Um, that would be huge if we could afford that. Let's grab this and dump all that. We're gonna run onto the floor really quick and try to generate just a tiny bit of money. We don't need a ton. Just something. As, as soon as we can get that matter eater wand, we're gonna be in really, really good shape. But, um, until we get that, we're gonna be in a little bit of a, a dangerous, uh, position. There we go. Closing in on the money for it. I definitely want to get as many trick kills as I can here. Because that will regenerate my life and give me even more ability to start cheesing. Just good. Matriosh can actually help if you have Exploding Gold on Corp. Yeah, uh, Exploding Corpses and Exploding Gold are definitely big strats, Calyresis. Um, but you, yeah, it's, it's the sort of thing where you need to have it to have it actually be good. Um, how's this thing's recharge? Okay, it's pretty bad. Um, Rick. Oh my god. 
I'm very lucky to have not taken damage there. That's good. Um, I had to itch my head. Oh my god. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, we're, we're just trying to clear all of the, the chaos being caused here. Uh, let's try to get this on here, and that might help a little bit. Um, there we go. Right, we're gonna have to deal with Steven if we do this route, and, um... I don't have a good Steven killer, so we're definitely not gonna do that. Okay, that's a little bit spooky. It's fine. Um, okay. Let's just carry on. We have light here, which I can use to make this faster by going like that. Um... They might be running down to the next biome, potentially. We'll see. That's a pretty scary enemy to have spawned in on me. That's a... Okay, the gods are angered, which is very unfortunate. Thankfully, this wand is actually strong enough to deal with that. I think we give up on the all-seeing eye, as useful as it has been. Um, we definitely need to do better than that still. Which is unfortunate, because, uh, you know, it is very, very helpful as far as spells go. Being able to not have to blind leap is very good, especially with the long distance cast. It gives you a lot of p potential power, um, but that's okay. We're hanging in there pretty well. I definitely want to send that guy. I think he died the trick, so we didn't get the send. But uh, we've got really good money built up here, actually, which uh, opens up some new options for us. That was a really good send. The chainsaw managed to get on him. You won! There it is! Hooey! GG, everybody. Well played, Dr. Cran. You, you hung in really well. Um, that was, that was good. That was very good. You killed yourself? Oh, no. Uh, did everybody have the same stuff? Because I feel like I was, like, really, really OP there. Let's see. Yeah, we we had randomized loot, so I had I had different stuff from everybody else. Um, so I got really lucky. It was different. Okay, yeah, I, I had some insane RNG. I had Matter Eater, Long Distance Cast, Short Teleport. You had Long Distance Cast, Heli, and Lightning Bolts? Okay. Yeah, I had Chainsaw, um, Spitter Bolts, which was okay. All right, I'm going to open her up again. If anybody would like to join us for another round of Noita Nemesis, hop on in. Uh, we'll, we'll do a couple more, and if people don't want to do this, then we can g figure out something else to do. I might just swap over to Super Auto Pets and do a little bit of a shorter stream today, potentially. Sick Bastard asks, what is the highest possible damage? There is no clear answer to that, because I, I would say that uh, the theoretical maximum damage is um, something that would be very, very hard to calculate. Um... Because you'd have to consider game engine and how the game will eventually break. But I would assume that the biggest damage number is probably, like, something to do with the computer storage space you have. And the, the reason that I, I say that is because you, could, you can't do infinite damage, but you can do, like, insane, insane numbers. Alright, we've got four people already prepared. I'm gonna go ahead and randomize the, uh, the world seed, and, uh, let's go ahead and jump into a new game. Good luck, everybody who's joined. If anybody else wants to join in, feel free. But, uh, otherwise, we will just have the four people. Same loot. I, I randomized the seed. We, we should be good now. Um, alright. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Probably at least ten damage. I think there's an upper damage for, uh, per tick. Hmm. I don't know. Don't remember the exact number, but it has 43 zeros. I mean, I don't think players have reached the maximum damage number. Here's the thing, is that you could make like a, a pen and paper calculation that does a million times more damage than it would in game because there's just like certain aspects of it where like you can only divide by 800. You can't go over that. Um, so, like, that, that's, like, a major limitation that you have to play around. But that said, there is no limit to the size of your wand, which is, like, a really, really big deal. Um, the fact that you can make your wand as large as possible and theoretically still craft to it as well, if you know what you're doing, because you could use, um... So, like, you can have an unlimited uncapped wand spawn in Nightmare. So, like, you, you could have a glitchless 29 capacity wand, or 30 capacity, or 50 capacity. 
Uh, th but the chances of that happening are like insanely, insanely rare. And then to craft on that, you'd need to overcome the HUD problems, w which would be like a whole issue in itself, right? Um, but having all of that extra space means that technically th there is no damage cap, right? You could just kind of keep going forever and then you just have to ask yourself what's like the maximum uh, something could compute, right? Um, wow. Wow! Oh my god. That is terrifying. No! Oh my god. This is truly terrifying. I think we're just gonna leave. This is way too risky. Need to get the hell out of here. I, I misplayed that pretty hard, but that's okay. Maybe, maybe we can turn this around still. Uh, I would have loved to have that wand. Wow, this is super good. Uh, let's grab these. Can't you do the glitch? Yeah, you could also do the glitch wand crafting, but I, I just wanted to point out that it's something that could also be done glitchless. Um, which would be quite good. I'm gonna take Mournful Spirit. I think Mournful Spirit's gonna be big strats here. Um, okay. We are full on health. We don't have enough Neo... We do have enough Neo points. This is gonna be sneaky. This gonna be sneaky. People might not be ready for it. We'll see. Okay, so now I'm actually hoping people get Matriochka effect, which is weird. Um, frick, I don't have any way of activating that. I wish I did. I imagine other people are probably doing a very similar thing to what I'm doing. Where they're just running around with teleport and uh, a basic damage dealer wand. My goodness. There we go. I'd love to have some uh, acceleration. Or not, not some acceleration, some water. Zyabots has died. Ooh, we got shifted on. That's scary. I'm gonna try and shift acceleration and see what happens. Copper. Um, I don't think I had any effect. But I, I was hoping to get like a bunch of acceleration around the world. That would have helped a bunch with just general movement, I think. Polymorphed. Oh, I got you with it. So did I get you with the um this the drink spike then? Is is that what happened? Okay. My goodness. Eh, frick. I need to reposition this into the correct spot. Yep, nice. Yeah, I figured that would be a sneaky one. I thought that might be the ticket. I'm really banking on these morning spirits doing some work for me in the early game. They're quite effective in combat, thankfully. As you can see by the, the mass death happening over here. They're actually surprisingly effective at killing things once you've got like a radius set up. Um, let's try to murder this guy. God damn it. Yeah, morning spirit is one of those... Uh, Things that is like insanely underrated I would say it's quite good okay um, both of them are in holy mountains shouldn't have too much to worry about there's a decent chance that oh god <laughs> that's kind of scary still kind of scary um, okay I think we're gonna carry on we need to set up our, our safety zone there we go managed to sneak through that wall um, yeah we, we can't really spend too much time in this Floor, unfortunately. I'd love to find a wand that would go a long way toward helping me in this adventure, but um, it is what it is. Until we have one, there's not much we can do. <laughs> That's very, very scary. Holy moly. Okay. We're getting lots and lots of stuff set up here. Shady Trader, thank you for the follow. I hope you've been enjoying the stream so far today. We need to schmove on him a little bit here. This is uh, some scary stuff with all the enemies spawning in. That lava almost screwed me over. There's a lot of uh, extra damage that I had to tank there. Okay, so that's a floor two. Somebody's been tanking the, the one floor. It's fine. Um, none of these are particularly helpful, I would say. Hmm. Okay, once again, we can kind of set up a, a radius of safety, which should be able to help us out a lot. We're going to have a shield now. And saving grace. Oh my god, so many good things here. It's really hard to choose... <laughs> these are all incredible. I think saving grace is like the the best one though as much as I love healing Saving grace is insane And there's more healing aspects that we can acquire later potentially. Wow. Can't believe you survived that Damn it That's pretty good We're having to move on them real hard. Are they just like farming these things? What the hell? This is awful. There we go. 
Holy moly. All right, we're, we're losing some HP, but that's okay. We need more damage output. That's our biggest problem right now. We have like none. We have none damage. Uh, let's grab a couple more spells here that I think will be helpful. And once again, the ghosts are like our saving grace. That That is what's keeping us alive here. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna electrocute here because there's a chance that that messes up Sped Silver and gets him killed. Uh, okay, he just went into the next biome, so he's actually gonna be fine. Uh, Dr. Cran is in the previous biome still, which is uh, kind of crazy. I need to find a wand because I have like no damage output to speak of. Um, it's really rough. Okay, this this could be something that's helpful for me. I'm gonna try and set this up in the correct location. Uh, to, oh no. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my life. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> Saving grace was not enough there. What a shame. Okay, that's fine. So if I die once, that that's that's one death. You, you get two. Everybody gets everybody gets one freebie. So we're, we're still technically in this. Um, but that is a big L for sure. We're gonna have to try and take advantage of this invincibility while we have it. And generate some money wherever we can. Let's not be on fire for when we come out of our invincibility mode. And uh, we're up to 900 gold, which is pretty good. Uh, try not to take a crap ton of damage. Oh god. Okay. That was actually such a perfect tablet kick. And then the uh, Mournful Spirit did the rest of the work. Dr. Cran has died. There's just been too much chaos for him. Um, so now it's just a 1v1 between me and Sped Silver once again. Um, let's see what we can do. Uh, they are in the middle of their floor. I could hit him with a enemy randomizer and that would be pretty chaotic, but it's also insanely expensive. I can't really afford it right now. Hmm, one up is very, very favorable with saving grace. That should help me a lot. <clears throat> oh God, we got enemies dropping in. I'm gonna go ahead and set this thing up. Come on, drop that. Put these up for now. Uh, good Lord, there we go. We need to have, like, this and this, maybe. And I think this is going to be my wand of choice. As awful as it is, it should be able to clear pretty well. And, um, yeah, it'll, it'll be okay. Everything is fine. There's so many dang snipers. Trying my best not to anger Steven, but uh, chances are we will we'll probably end up angering him here. Um, this wand is pretty okay, but I don't think I can afford to take it. Okay, we need to run. It's definitely running time. Everything is awesome. I mean, we're, we're handling it, kind of, Vandal, but it's, it's not great. Ow, I just jumped into my own stuff. It's pretty rough. Okay. And the acid is going to help a lot. Oh my god! <laughs> I almost got exploded to shit there. That would have sucked. It was very close to being exploded. Thankfully, we're all right. Um, hi. How are you? Just a million hisi, huh? No biggie. Th remember, the ghosts are are my friends. The ghosts are going to be the thing that keeps me alive here. They're actually putting in so much work. This is an, a fantastic demonstration of this perk, actually. Normally, I don't take it because it's uh, not relevant to what I'm doing. We got another earthquake coming. I don't know when or where, but it's going to happen. There it is. God, the thing hasn't exploded yet for some reason. Kind of blows my mind. Okay. We've had our little earthquake. No big deal. That is so bad. That is so bad. <laughs> I'm so scared. Um, Sped Silver's ready for the next floor, which is very scary to me. We need to find, like, literally anything to help us through this at this point. There's like a... Oh my god. The mass explosives kicking around is so scary. This is such a mess. Okay. Alright. We're fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. We got 95 life somehow. We're okay. Somehow. I have no idea how we haven't taken more damage than this. Please, insane chop. This is what I need. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> this isn't good. Hmm, I mean, this is kind of huge. I can now heal off of saving grace. We got exploding uh, immunity, which is good. Hmm, how am I going to continue to alive? That is the question. I, I definitely need to spitterbolt some stuff. That, that much is clear. 
This is so garbage. Trigger plasma? Yeah, trigger plasma might be it. That, that might be the strat, honestly. As, as much as I hate it, I think it might be. Okay, um, we're fine, kind of. I'm gonna do one of these. And we still have a black hole that we haven't been using at all, which is just sad. Just need to kill things, damn it. Okay, I guess we could go plasma cross. As much as I hate it, it is effective. Okay, uh, let's take a look at his current situation. Um, I don't have anything super good here. I think we're just gonna carry on, because none of these are good enough. Um, and we could maybe make it over to Steven, or to, to the, the dragon boss. The dragon will definitely die to this. Oh my jeez! <laughs> this the fucking air smells ionized, are you serious? My opponent is definitely experiencing this as well, but that doesn't stop this from being like an absolute hellish situation. I can't believe Sped Silver has survived all this hell. This is insane. We need to get out of here. There's an HP up. I'm risking it. I want to get that HP going. Oh my god. This is so bad, man. Okay. The electric skull sends are huge. They're so huge. Every electric skull send is, is just like a potential death sentence. We're on 100 life, but I haven't used my 1-up. We have used our first HP. Our, our first uh, life, though. We have to watch out for that. Um, we made it to Dragon, like, surprisingly easily. It was a pretty clear path. I, I think this could be the ticket to... Oh, we got triggered. Okay, we, we, we've got the... The plasma going, or the auto-trigger going, which is definitely problematic. We just need to play it cool. We'll be okay. Your favorite bio-modifier? It's, uh, it's definitely a unique one, Dr. Cran, but I can't say it's my favorite. There's way too many, like, terrifying things that can go horribly wrong with it. I don't know if I've ever seen this modifier in the jungle, though. That's pretty unique. Very cool. Oh my jeez, that is so bad. Okay. I hate it. We're just leaving. We can't kill the dragon. We're in, we're in too much risk at this point. Okay. Uh... Hey, they're in this level. I'm gonna hit them with a sneaky... Oh, I can't even afford it. I'm still too far behind. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Hmm. Angry ghost, maybe? We still get Neo points for killing the, the ghosts. Angry ghost is kind of crazy, but it's also so bad. Concentrated spells is insane, but not with our current setup. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we do take concentrated spells? My goodness, we are getting lots of enemies sent in our direction. Just pray for the, the ghosts to save us. The ghosts will save us. We have enough ghosts in the room. Everything's fine. Okay, everything's less fine. Okay. <laughs> We're fine. Okay, um, they're- they're going ham. That means that they're in a big fight. We're gonna electrocute and hope that that helps. And we're just gonna keep trying to, uh, stabilize this situation with more ghosts. Sped Silver managed to- wow, did you see how much de damage that glue did there? That's really weird. Looks like it's got, like, a pseudo-piercing effect to it. It's unexpected. Whoa, hi. Um, I don't know why I'm still alive, but I am. Okay, this thing is good. We are in a lot of tr Oh my god. Okay. Um, we're skipping these perks. It's just not worth it at this point. This one is kind of bad. We don't have anything good for dealing with uh, Steven. That's for sure. Th that concentrated spell skip is probably going to cost me big time in the long run. Uh, this one is like a must take. That that's like a, a really big future build potentially. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy to have that. And now that we're in a more open space, we can deal with enemies a lot easier, which is uh, very, very favorable, for sure. I need to punch through here, one way or another. My goodness. I'm not sure if that's uh, my own enemy or if that's just uh, one of the enemies that have been sent to me. There's been so many enemies sent. He's really tanky for whatever reason. There we go. We got him. Okay. That is easily the scariest enemy in the game. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> okay. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. 
There's so much glue. <laughs> Why is there so much glue in play? Okay, we're good. Okay. Um, hi, how are you? Um, okay, they're teleporting around a lot. I'm gonna hit them with uh, an acid. Oh my god, these spells are insane. We do have the ability to black hole, which is kind of huge. Um, okay. We're gonna dump all these. We're gonna black hole here. I'm gonna take the bloodlust, and we need this spell desperately. This will be the ticket to victory. Okay. We need to get back up in there to, to edit. Uh, but once we're in there, we might be okay. Oh, my God. We're gonna have to play it real risky. <laughs> we got saving grace, so it's fine. Um, we got timer. What do we do with timer? I don't know. We don't really have too many options. Okay. We need to get some nasty angles on Steven here. Um, we, we can kill Steven. We just need to get in close. There. We got him. Okay. Um, we need to roll these. We got unlimited spells, which is huge. We can now... I don't know what we can do with that just yet, but we'll, we'll figure it out. My goodness, this this has been such an intense round. Sped Silver has been absolutely crushing me with his offense. It's been so hard to do anything on this run. Okay, give me that. Now we can make something crazy. Um, we need to set up like so. And uh, dump this. Add timer. One of these. Into this. Oh my god, we need to go. <laughs> this is so bad. Okay. Um, fuck, we can't use bloodlust. That's suicide. It's so bad. Okay. Um, what do I do? I, th I think we just need to go to the next area. We need we need to do some speedrun strats for sure. Um, we we need to find like one more wand. I I, th I think we gotta dump some stuff off of our wand. Fuck, fuck. Oh my god, my life. Okay. Grab all this. Grab this. Okay. Go. Live. 52 HP. Teleport mage, do it to me. Yes. Huge. We're living. We're living. Okay. Um. We might be alright. Just need to stay alive. There it is. Okay. So we're on to the next floor here on the bright side, which is good. Um, let's get a little bit of pressure going. What's their HP at? They're, they're pretty low. I'm gonna surprise him. Never mind, I don't have the ability to. <sighs> Use timer for explosion curse. Explosion curse is left behind. It's too late. <clears throat> okay. So we need to come up with something brilliant, I think. Like, that. that's pretty much where we're at. Is we need to... Okay, we're explosion immune, so we should use explosives, I think. that That's where we're at. I'm on 1 HP. I need to heal. Okay. Um, dump everything. The homing is absolutely necessary at this point. My freaking goodness. Okay. One of these. This is so bad. Uh, yeah, homing plasma cross would be huge. If I can put together a homing plasma cross, then we're in really good shape. But the chances of that happening at this point are, like, dwindling. Immensely. It's it's looking pretty bad. Um, okay, a lot of the enemies are falling into the lava, which is good. Um, this guy has to die to this ghost, otherwise we're not going to be able to kill him, I think. There we go, we finally got him. Alright, um, I need to do this, and I need to yoink homing. It's of utmost importance that I get this homing. Okay. Um, one of these. It went at, like, a really bad angle. Okay. It's gonna be down in this bloody mess. Okay. We got it. Please tell me we got it. We got it. Okay. Huge. Um. <laughs> homing. And then... This... No, no, no. We're gonna use bombs. There. That's the wand. We are now overpowered as fuck. We should be able to kill everything. Um, we're just terrified of everything that exists. But th this wand should kill everything, so we're now safe for New Game Plus or whatever we choose to do. And I think we do have to go to New Game Plus. Um, 
Hmm. What do we do? What do we do from here? I, I think we'll put this down here. Swan has spread issues for days. Um, what's your situation? You're in Scode right now. Oh, this wand is not very good. Dropper Bolt will probably be stronger, right? This is 500 explosion damage. This is 390 with flat 50 damage onto it. Um, I, I think we'll take that. I would have stolen Omega. Yeah, I mean, Omega would have been a good one, but it's, it's only, there's only so much I can do. I definitely could have stolen Omega and then swapped into everything else. Okay, I think we're going to roll. And I'll take another shield. And, um... Yeah, this is where we're at right now. This is not good. This is really not good. Okay. This will be my new black hole wand. Dump that. So th this is actually going into New Game Plus, which is going to be really interesting. Uh, let's see. Has my opponent already gone into New Game Plus? Oh, we got like a random extra person in here. Uh, I apologize. There we go. Uh, I, I forgot to lock it. Put Healing Bolt on your Tele Wand. That might be an idea. Um, but I, I don't know if I want to go for that. Why didn't it drop a bolt like crazy? I don't know. There we go. That time it did. Okay, give me into New Game Plus. Alrighty. New Game Plus. Let's do this. It's, it's not every day we both, or I, I get to go into New Game Plus with somebody. Sped Silver clearly has some crazy stuff going on. They're over here. So we're both in very similar shape, just teleporting for our lives and looking for the, the best advantages we can get. Um, I imagine we're probably equally strong at this point. I, I wonder if there's much of a, uh, a power level difference between the two of us. Chaotic polymorphine is not pleasant at all. We gotta go this way, seemingly. We're both just trying to rip through here. There we go, I made it. Um, Matryoshka is huge, potentially. Let's take that. Um, yeah, we got another black hole, which is good. We'll definitely take it. It seems like the world might be repeating to some degree. Um, let's go ahead and cast one of these and send a Steven. That's good. Let's roll here, and I will take a Breathless. That could open up some new options for us. I wonder how this is going to... Is this going to end? I'm really not sure. I might have to, like, go and send, like, a crazy boss or something. Or, or maybe there's just going to be some sort of, like, endgame scenario. This is maybe the longest match of this I've ever experienced. That guy has a wand now, which is very awkward. Okay, it looks like he's going to kill himself for the most part, so that's good. I'm going to ignore him for now. And, um, yeah, 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 I do it. Oh, my God. It's so janky. Yeah, okay, I don't, I don't care about that wand at all. Let's just carry on. Um, let's grab more HP. I have actually never been in a situation where a match has gone this long. This is really cool. Looks like you might uh, have to blow the shit out of the vault again. Yeah, just go crazy in the vault. That could be the strat. Getting some chaotic teleports. You never know what kind of wands are going to spawn in and potentially wreck us as well. I think my biggest fear is electricity or maybe getting frozen meleeed. Um... But with ha having, like, the, the double defenses, I might be okay for a little while. Didn't you and Dago this long? No, normally the, the match has ended a lot faster than this, actually. Um, we're gonna wait and, um, see what he does. Okay, so one of these might kill. Maybe I need two or three. We'll see. There it is. Scode is sent. Let's see if he can deal with Scode. He probably can. Based on, like, how hard he's been crushing all the enemies. I would assume that he can probably handle Scode. I can now use a Black Hole Wand, which is pretty huge. Oops. Assuming I don't drop my Black Holes on the ground. A little bit of that, a little bit of this. Grab this thing, add uh, Luminous Drill onto here, and a double and another Luminous Drill. Now we can shoot this thing fast, and it's going to be even more lethal than it was earlier. <clears throat> we've, we've actually got one of these in our inventory, which is really funny. I wonder if I can utilize, or how I could utilize that. Okay, um, damn it, damn it, okay. Okay, this should be even scarier now. Okay. So, we're gonna hit him with one of these. Hopefully that's good timing. We'll see. At, at worst, it'll slow him down. At best, it'll kill him. But I doubt it'll kill him at this rate. Um, none of these perks are worth grabbing. Okay. 
in very good shape. Is that another acceleration flask? It is. Pretty good. I just gotta not get zapped by my own stuff. That's gonna go a long way toward helping this. Um, I need to go to a biome where he ha where there's enemies that he can't kill. So we, we need to find something to give myself an advantage. There, there's multiple biomes in this game that are like really, really hard. To oh my fucking god, I got shot by the worst thing ever. Lucky Lair? Yeah, I need to go to Lucky Lair or the Robo Den or like like something along that line. Forgotten. I'm on 1 HP. I'm dead. I, I used my 1 up there. That sucks. We need to carry on to the next floor. This is really bad. Maybe I'm just gonna lose. So we lost our 1 up, but we still have Saving Grace that we can play around with. Um, we, we got twitchy there, by the way. I think that's why I'm, I'm in really bad shape now. But if I had to guess, that's probably what happened. But also, being permanently on fire here is quite bad. Um, I'm trying to use it to my advantage. To some, I'm dead. GG. GG. Spent Silver, you got me on that one. What a crazy match. I definitely misplayed a little bit. The twitchy was way too strong. Holy moly. That was awesome. If they don't have an eye, they won't be able to kill the Forgotten. That's true, but Forgotten isn't that uh, powerful. I got hit by um, personal fire ball thrower at the tail end, and that screwed me over insanely hard. It was very, very unfortunate. But yeah, that, that's what happened there at the tail end. Alongside like a million other things that happened. What was your setup, uh, Sped Silver? You cleared enemies so effectively. It was really, really cool. Does it last forever? It lasts for like two minutes. It's just the longest two minutes of, uh, of your life. Heavy shot Lumi's on a, a trigger. Nice. Yeah, I was scrambling to try and get a wand together forever. Um, but sounds like you found some really good stuff. Kills to mana saved your life. Yeah, kills to mana is actually crazy. There, there's so many perks in this game that are really helpful for like hyper offense. And they're, they're not useful in the normal game, but they're great in this mode. Like I had... Uh, um, like the poltergeist where, where like the ghosts of the enemy come back and kill everything in the area that I had that and it was just killing everything. It was great. That was a great match. All right. Well, I see it's already six o'clock. I think I'm going to do a little bit of super auto pets to uh, close the stream. And um, yeah, that, that'll be it for this week then. So let, let's go ahead and transition over to some SAP. Hopefully everybody's okay with that. I'm just gonna swap over the screen while I uh, jump over to the other game. Uh, let's see here. Super Auto Pets. I took Gamba and Trick Blood instead of uh, sa uh, your st Saving Grace 1-Up. I see. Yeah, there, there's definitely a couple different lines you could go there for sure. It's cool to see that there's all these options. Okay. Super auto pets time. Pog. Hopefully everybody's excited for some SAP. Uh, enjoying the weekly pack with uh, arena betting and probably some verses. There we go. Super auto pets. Cool. Alrighty. I'm gonna swap theirs skip this song for now. There we go. It's just not very pleasant in a single ear. Alrighty. So, we are going to be playing with the weekly pack. And the weekly pack is basically just a buy-sell meta to, to some degree. It's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think there's like too many synergies inherent to it, but it does has, have some fun stuff. I found the wasp to be really fun. When I was messing around with it earlier, and the Praying Mantis has some pretty good targets as well. Um, Fox is, like, just one of the best creatures in the whole dang game. And, uh, yeah, there's some turkey shenanigans to be played. And there's also Croc, which is actually just insane in this pack. Very, very good unit uh, for anti-meta. So let's go ahead and jump into the arena and uh, give this thing a shot. I'm going to swap my camera up to here because this is a way better location for it. There we go. So I need to, like, adjust this a little bit. There we go. Okay. 
So what do we have? We've got Duckling, Pillbug. I mean, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of any of these. Maybe I'd just take a Duckling and roll. I think that's the play. We've got another Duckling. And... I should probably take the Cricket. I'm just gonna take the Cricket. This is this is a losing turn or turn one team, but it's gonna happen no matter what. We're gonna go with the 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 Danish muffins. Sounds delicious. Cricket is bait. Cricket is a strong late game unit. Cricket is definitely not just bait. It's it's just that on turn one it kind of sucks. There we go. That makes that that makes up for it a little bit. Uh, let's roll. We got uh, wow. We got two two uh, two triples already. That's lovely. This is actually super ideal. Uh, this team once again probably doesn't win against much, but it could win against some lower health teams. All right. Well, this is uh, a little bit of a meme. I I guess this is. It's not quite the best team to be going up against. Frill Dragon early game is super broken. You just kind of have to eat the L against it for the most part. Um, okay, we got double Hedgehog, which is really funny. And we got a Turtle. Huh. Um, that sounds pretty interesting, actually. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> um... Just a real weird shop, to be honest. Huh. Um. I guess we take both of the turtles. And do that. And then we could take the goldfish, or I could take the... I could freeze, I could take the goldfish and freeze the, both of the hedgehogs and go for a triple. I think that's actually plays. Uh, what does tier two turtle do? Um, it's just an early turtle, which is nice because you get it ahead of schedule. Croissant. Croissant's really good before, um, before you like start pilling stuff and Mantis is a ways away. So we're going to croissant, uh, something probably. Search turtle shoe on YouTube. <laughs> what is what is turtle shoe? We, we lose these because he's got just big frilled dragons. Very cool. What a gamer. Alrighty. Um, so I think we sell our duckling. That's the first part. And then we sell our goldfish. Yes. And then we run double hog. <laughs> Which is very stupid. Croissant's very tasty, can confirm, indeed. Um Let me take a quick peek at the pack and see if there's any like synergies with Hedgehog for now. Um let's see here. I feel like Hedgehog is going to be a mediocre unit. I don't really see anything too special that it's going to counteract. So I don't think I will croissant a Hedgehog. Instead, I will croissant a Dromedary. And maybe we just sell our Cricket, which does lose us a lot of stats. We could also combine our Turtles. I want this Dromedary on the board. It's very important to me. You know, I am going to keep a, a freaking hedgehog. Watch me. Watch me keep a goddamn hedgehog. Okay. Uh, let's have one of these. And you go up at the front. And that's going to make for some very efficient trades. Do I want to ride shrimp? I'm going to I'm going to look for rolls. I think it's it's more important to get the units that I want than it is for anything else. So that's what we're going to do. This team is very janky and very funny, but it is kind of doing some stuff. Let's see how this goes. This guy's got big dromedary team. All right, well, that, that didn't work out nearly as well as I was hoping. But it also worked out pretty much precisely how I anticipated. 
Oh, hey, they nerfed the shit out of Dromedary. Interesting. That's good to know. Stork is a really, really strong late game scaling unit in this game, actually. So that might be worth something. Let's see what we get here. We got an eel. Eel is like just a shit unit as far as I'm concerned. There's like almost no way to make it any good. Um, okay, so this is doing four damage to everything now, which is actually terrifying. Uh, Stork is a nice summon unit. Guess I'll take it for now and I'll roll. We got wasps. Normally that's a bad thing, but in this situation it's actually quite good. Okay, so we could pineapple to get plus two damage. Which is basically like paying for potentially ten damage. You'd hope it wouldn't be ten damage, but it could be ten damage. Hmm. I guess. It could be a bit of a stall play. We got double wasp. I like eel, but uh, it makes scaling. Wait, it makes scaling you put on it better. Yeah, that, that is true. Calyresis. I guess it could be like good tempo. Maybe I got to give it more of a chance. I'll have to give it a try. Okay, let's take a couple wasps. They're, they're so unscaled. This, this team's actually garbage. This team is very, very bad currently. I'm, I'm doing a little bit too much memeing. Also, the turtle is uh, just like completely losing the, the potential power of its setup, which is pretty bad, obviously. Okay, so it looks like we draw these. So there's that. Uh, we got another hedgehog. Fun, fun, fun. Is, is B in this pack? B is in this pack. How stupid do we want to get? That's the question. Need to move the turtle now? True. Okay, I'm gonna do that and buy this. And I'm gonna roll. We got another turtle. Let's uh, level it up and see what we get. We get a dragonfly, which is something, I guess. Buy duck? I'm not buying the duck. <laughs> I'm not buying a goddamn duck. Okay, let's do one of these. Um, this team makes no sense. Okay. We're not in any rush, so we don't have to, like, hurry or anything. <laughs> just, <laughs> this is just such a stupid team. It's an unbelievable. It's very, very bad. But that's kind of why I love it. Um, Remember when you did all duck team at the start? Yeah, that was not fun. I'm glad that it's gone. There's another stork. Do I want to stork up? Stork is a great late game unit, and I can always kill it, too, if I don't get a bunch of stats on it. Turtle is going to hit the pineapple again. No, it's going to hit the... It's going to hit this one. At least in theory it should. Oh, wait, it's a double turtle now. Yeah, you're right. God damn it. It's okay. It's... Oh, it did matter. I'm pissed. It actually did matter this time. Well, I'm garbage. Garbage confirmed. Hyena. Ooh. I mean, that's kind of a fun unit. Let's do one of these. And one of these. There we go. This is such a dumb team. We're, we're about to go zero wins with this stupid team. This was a terrible mistake. Never get baited by the hedgehog. You'll regret it every time. Stupid goddamn hedgehog. <laughs> okay. There we go. Um I I will can, because canning is good. And I'm I'm just that confident that I'm gonna win. That I can just can forever. Um okay, well, we did literally nothing that turn. Let's hope that our hyena can continue to like just big disrupt people. Okay, he's also being stupid. Which is probably a bad thing for me. Um, interesting. Wait a second, we're actually fine. Because his hedgehog team was even more stupid than mine. That's what I'm talking about. Um, God. <laughs> Why is this happening? Do I go, I, I could go for a tier 3 stork and then murder it with a mantis. In the, in the endgame scenario. 
I kind of like the play. Or I like the sound of that play. Um, I think I want to keep this guy half-leveled for now. That way I continue to get stats on it. That's a fox. Okay, we just take the fox, I think. Yeah, we just take the fox. It's just way too good. It's just a broken unit. Yeah, see, like, even that's, like, really good. That's some big value. Why do you have a pineapple on your dog? That doesn't make any sense at all. There's, there's no sense to that. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Okay. Fox doesn't double food at level one anymore. Okay, good to know. I imagine that it's still probably very good though. Uh, let's do some rolling. We do a little rolling. Turkum. Hmm. How does pineapple dog compare to pineapple pizza? Oh God. <laughs> Regen germ, I don't think... I, I was gonna say, I don't think people are eating the dogs. And then I'm like, wait a second. Maybe they do. <laughs> Maybe they do eat the dogs. Um, okay, we just rolled forever. I'm gonna keep rolling. What What of it? I don't know what I want in life. And that, I'm making that clear right now. Pineapple on a hot dog. I could see people doing that. Pineapple hot dog. It sounds wrong, but um, who, who am I to judge? Wow, that, uh, our hyena actually is, uh, messing us up pretty bad here. This might be, uh, game over. Oh, no, we're still good. Look at that. You could say you're on a roll. Wow. Okay. One of these. Alrighty. Now what do you do? Shuffle positions. Oh my god, this is gonna get out of hand, isn't it? <laughs> this is gonna get super out of hand. Um... We freeze both of these, because they're both good. Do I just put the turtle in the back? I think that's what we do. This team is so dumb. Yeah, ex wait, now you don't need to worry about mispositioning. The hyena does that for you. True. Drats. L look at how flawlessly my units are placed now. All part of the plan. And I lost because they actually had a reasonable team. <laughs> Two wins. Pog. All right. I'm going to do a prediction now and you guys can bet how many wins we'll get. Um... Let's see here. What's the most more recent predictions? Here we go. Uh, how many wins will I get? We're gonna go one to four. Wait, I guess we could just do zero to one. Zero to one. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. Give give a little bit more incentive to be a believer. And you guys have two minutes on this prediction. Get a get a vote in there. You lost because you rerolled the mammoth back uh, to the front. Wait, what? Oh no. <sighs> Yeah, basically, Hedgehog is stupid and you should never ever buy it. It's just a state. It's the worst animal of all time. Those are a lot of options. Yeah. If not all of the options get picked, then uh, if the thing that ha- if, if the thing happens where one of the wins happens and it's like not on- Like if there's no, nobody voting on seven, then it'll just go back to everybody. That is too many options. What What do you mean it's too many options? Everybody, everybody gets to pick how much they think I'll win. You guys don't like the idea of potential big money? Like you could be the one person to put points on like seven and then all of a sudden you win for every, or like you win everything potentially. It's, it's big gamble. That's the whole point. You get to gamble real hard. Which I think is kind of funny. <laughs> At least I... 
that's the idea. Why'd you group nine and ten? Uh, for slightly more incentive to to believe, Caluresis. That's why. He admits he's bad. How did I admit I'm bad? Ten should be special. Okay. Well, in the future, we will make ten its own category then. Uh, the trick is to snipe the spot with no points invested. Uh, so true, Regen. What kind of point kickback uh, do you get when we lose? I think he's hustling us for our points, chat. I have a sideways, sideways eight in my, my points, okay? I, I have all the points I could ever want. Let's go. <laughs> all right, here we go. Um, Ant is a unit. Love a good gamble. It's definitely one of those. I'm going to take a duck because that's a, a good unit now. Uh, double beetle. Do I just take a beetle to have a beetle? It's at least one step closer to triples. I think we might just take it. My 10 points got slightly outbid by 10k. Oh no. Well, you might not be making very much money then. Do I just go with the two and go for like hard rerolls? I feel like that might, that that's definitely the play. We're gonna do that. Okay, so we got another duck and we only got one more duck. Game, game sucks. We're gonna go with the, the big celebrities, the suave, the, the glistering pots, the, the big craters. There we go, we did it. We found the best name. All right, look at that. Oh, I was gonna say we win, but then I realized that it's fucking frilled dragon. People love their frilled dragons for some reason, despite them seemingly not being that good. Uh, okay, we got, we got the quad duck, but that's all we got. Duck meta? Yeah, it's duck meta. Duck meta has returned. Quack. Duck meta is back. I, I definitely went a little bit harder on ducks than I should have, but it looks like they also did the same, so we're good. Look at that. You're worried. That's that's one victory. That's, that's big. Big important. We got a starfish. You must be joking. I thought it was gone. Um, you know, <laughs> it, it's, it's kind of a thing. Okay. We're going to do this and we'll roll. And I think, hang on. If it had, wait, so friend sold, if it had a sell ability, give plus one plus one to a random friend. Okay. So we're definitely going to buy we're gonna do some buy sell meta here for sure this should get kind of wild early starfish seems really good i didn't really think about my unit positioning at all which is definitely a bit of a mistake but hopefully if we just draw yeah i'm game for that i'm game for draws works for me we got double goldfish oh my god this is going to get crazy okay so we do a buy, and then we do a, a buy and a buy and a sell, and then a buy. I, I did that wrong, but that's okay. We got another goldfish. Let's go. Let's go. This is getting out of hand. Okay, and we're just going to freeze this. Look at the size of that goldfish. Biggest goldfish you've ever seen. <laughs> this is such a dumb team composition. Oh my god, why does that thing have 13 attack? Is Bluebird actually still cracked? And I've been wrong this entire time? Alright, that's two wins. The one win believers uh, have already been screwed. Alright, what, what do we got? We got a worm. We got a worm salad. That can't be right. They're probably spamming fried shrimp. Probably a Caliuresis, that would make sense. Um, okay, let's do a little buy and a little sell. And do we do we buy this as well? Now now we get free food. Or we, we get two free pets every round. I think we might want to dump the dromedary and take the worm. No believer is screwed if all believers are screwed. <laughs> exactly, Regen. Um do I want to go with a worm? 
Has Worm ever worked for me? No. Could it work for me now? Probably not. Should we do it anyway? I don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, I was mostly hoping for... <laughs> Did I just hear get the worm? Yeah, I'm considering a worm regen shrimp. Look, there's two, there's two salads. You just look for a dog. True, honestly. That's, that's the strat. You just look for a dag. Look for a dang dag. There's a there's an ox. It's SAP time. Yes, it is. It is SAP time. We gotta we gotta find some buy cells. Gotta get some buy me sell me's. Um, I think we salad, and then do we really want to freeze. Used to be the worm master. It's not worth it without a seal, I guess. How you doing, Woat? Good to see you. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna hard roll for, for dog. Double dog! Let's go! Huge. Big plays. Huge, giant plays with big dogs involved. Um, why are they 3-3? Three, three? Did they buff the dog? Am I allowed to say those words out loud? I'm gonna do this and then roll again. And then roll again. And now we got a leveled up dog. Jesus Christ! That is insane. That is big Insano style. This, this is gonna get nutty. Okay, they are going with the Frill Dragon approach, which means we just auto lose because it's just too strong for the early game. This shit's actually silly. People take Worm now because Rabbit and Squirrel are meta. That's really cool. That's really good to hear, actually. Okay, let's do a sell and a sell and a buy and a buy and a combine and a buy and a combine and then we just buy whatever shows up Ugh, ugh. <laughs> it's, it's not really what i'm looking for in life to be honest but it might be good with starfish if i can sell the ant and get some buy sell meta going let's try that um we'll do a sell and a buy and do we grab shrimp? Is shrimp worth it at this point? Like, it's kind of late. I don't think we go starfish and shrimp. We got to pick one or the other. At least with this current setup. Okay, so none of these are good. Uh, you don't have space for shrimp. You're telling me. You're telling me. Okay. Well, this is like a team, I guess. We just got to get some cell units going. Okay, he's also dogging it up. We have, we have gotten out dogged. He was a, a dogged contender for sure. We are now on lethal, which means that I'm at two, which is not good at all. Oh, geez. Alrighty then. Okay, that's, that's larger fish. Do I grab the deer for now? It costs one gold. That's kind of a good price, but I'm, I'm gonna keep rolling. Um, God damn it. In 1v1s, at least. Does anything else really matter? Um, I th think... We should do a... A buy. And then, and then what? Discounted units are literally free. Oh, that's true, Caluresis. I'm very silly. I didn't even think about that. That is a giant misplay by me then. Okay. We'll freeze this. This. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Am I gonna make money off of these guinea pigs if I live around? I hope so. I can start my very own guinea pig farm. Three wins. Here we go. Guinea pig farm commence. We're gonna sell this. We're gonna sell this. We're gonna buy here. You could get a level three guinea pig. I feel insane. <laughs> it's the it's the meta. The meta has changed. Okay. Uh why does alias not like MOBAs? Um, well, it's not that I don't like MOBAs, I just don't like League. 
Dota's fun. It's just, like, very stressful. And, um... I, I, I don't know. They're not really a great game, because 99% of every MOBA is spent farming, and that means it's bad. <laughs> I like to do things in my video games. That's generally the case. I think we'll get at least one level up here. I don't know if there's a better way I could have done this. But I, I do want one level up for Polar Bear, I guess. There we go. 99% of Noita is farming. Smile. Arguable. Very arguable. Okay. This is good. This is very good. My face when I'm freezing ducks on going on to turn 9. This, this can't be right. If you bought into the guinea pig, you wouldn't, uh, have lost the other one. But I also would have lost the buff on the dog, maybe? No. Yeah, you're right, Batangle. Oh, okay, yeah. It's a unit that I haven't played with, like, at all. Yeah, I'm dumb. I am definitely dumb. There are popular games about nothing but farming. There's nothing wrong with those games being popular. They're just not games that I enjoy. Um, pubs are passive farming games. Yeah, like that. That's the thing. You you have to get like really good to actually enjoy those games generally. And uh, it like basically when I pick a game, it's like, am I willing to potentially build, try and build my career around said game? And if the answer is no, then I definitely shouldn't even bother. Okay. Let's do one of these. At least in some cases. Obviously, if it's just for fun, then that's a thing, too. Uh, okay, so we're going to do some buy cells. And we can start scaling up. Look at the stats. Look at the stats. Yes. Yes. Huge. Pretty sure I've seen you play Stardew Valley. Uh, I don't think I've ever played Stardew Valley. I own Stardew Valley, but I don't know if I've ever played it. Um, do we want to mantis the thing? That might be the strat here. I, th I think we mantis the turtle here. It's a bit of a psycho play, but I think it is the correct play. And then we can pivot off of uh, the turtle, which is going to be nice. It feels so wrong freezing ducks at this point in the game just for the cell trigger for this creature. Wow, that actually mapped out really well. Holy moly. Dude. <laughs> we were getting crushed for so long. We're at five wins now. That's nuts. Okay. Duck is basically an owl. Yeah, that's kind of insane. Does everyone lose their points if you get 11 plus wins with your OP dog? Yeah, if we go infinite, then everybody loses their points. I get to take them. They'll be my points then. Okay. Uh, big dog on campus. One more win, then throw. We can tell <laughs> where Golden Vex's allegiances lie. <laughs> Very good. I think we, we sneak a Scorp on for this round. For sure. Seems like a good play. And uh, we'll just do a little roll here. That's a chocolate. Do I want the chocolate anything? Generally, it's kind of insane. But it might not be the play here. I, th I think this is actually the, the lineup order. I kind of like it. Um, Protect my 10-point investment, <laughs> says Regent Sherm. I'll freeze the chocolate. I may or may not feed it to the dog. We'll see. I mean, he's already practically maxed out. All right. Let's see here. Um, we're, we're going to have some scary stuff going down. Oh, shit. We lost. 
<laughs> we got five wins. I just, I don't know. The early game goes so bad because of all the stupid frilled dragon bullshits. I guess we just didn't go hard enough. All right, well, 28% bet on five. Uh, enjoy the, the five payout. This is, this is a lot of points going. <laughs> so many points. I believe a couple of people just became significantly wealthy. <laughs> Plus 30k pog. Do you guys like that more than... <laughs> do you like that more than, like, will I get over six wins? Or do you prefer the, the like, a 50-50, essentially? Is the, does the Petrifier modifier have any use? Um, found a really good wand, with an, but it, wait, with it as an on as an always caster? Not really, Phoenix. It's kind of awful. You prefer this, but less options. You'd pare it down uh, some, but you like it better. Okay. Um, le let me try again, then. I'll, I'll, I'll go with another one. Uh, start prediction. How many wins will I get? And we're just going to click X on this a bunch. So we're going to do like zero to three. And then we're going to do four to what? Four, four to seven. And then we'll have like an eight or nine. And then we'll have a ten. That looks good. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Mil Mila Millard. Thank you for the or Milliard. I uh, hope you've been enjoying the stream so far. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Here we go. What what about this? Do you guys it, does this look good? As an option, yeah, Belbert. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Thank yeah. you for the follow as well. What a surprise. I think we're learning the, the thing a little bit. I know someone who uh, would do bets uh, like on odd or even number of wins just to make it real betting disgusting. Yeah, that is. <laughs> it's a gross regen germ. Is the lobby open? We're not We're not doing a lobby. I'll read my message uh, eventually, I hope. Um, which, which part? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, for 10. Okay. Yeah, we, we could do that, I guess. Um, the one I, uh, wait. The one after, the one you added you with. 0 to 2, 3 to 5, 6 to 8, 9 plus. But people were saying 10 has to be the fancy one. So that's why I tried to do the the fancy one. Yeah, we'll we'll figure out the grouping system. Odd and even is big on CS:GO streams. Oh my goodness! I like this with smaller ranges toward the top. Uh, show confidence. Yeah, I, I I figured that this made sense, Caluresis, where it's like, oh man, I think he's gonna win, so I'm I'm gonna have like one of these, one of these higher ones. Okay, let's jump in. You want uh, special? Make zero and ten special with your current grouping. <laughs> Having zero be special would be pretty funny and also quite degenerate. <laughs> Why are there so many points on zero to three? I'm gonna prove you so. I'm coming for those points. I'm coming for those points. God damn it! Disgusting. How could you, chat? Please trust in me at least a little. All right, let's let's do. Uh, oh God, I hate this. Um, I'm gonna do one of these. One of these. These units feel bad. We're gonna go with the the aggressive swimmers. No, they're just aggressive musicians. Musicians and players are practically the same thing. Interesting. 
The odds are just the, our best <laughs> estimator for uh, your skill. Don't have to be mad. Wow. Too late anyway. How you doing, Arkansas? Uh, how many wins in how many runs? Okay, we lost our first round. That's normal at this point. But this time we've got frilled dragons. Dang it. We're not gonna lose. Imagine a duck smashing a guitar. Sound, sounds like a perfect image. We're gonna have this on the board as well here. I'm gonna do it like this. Alrighty. So hopefully they gain... Yeah, so they're getting plus two, plus two. Which is kind of insane. These units are way, way too crazy. Real Dragon is nuts for early game. I don't think I even have to, like, invest in them or anything. I just have to have them exist. Um, Goldfish felt incredible. Duck smashing a guitar. Oh my goodness, Belbereth. Um, yeah, I like Goldfish a lot. But obviously they have terrible stats. Blowfish is a thing. Bluebird could just be kind of handy. Powering up stats. Are multi-option bets new? Yeah, they're very new. They just came out recently. I don't think the Blowfish is that good in this setup, so we're just gonna roll. And I'm gonna roll again. Not liking this. Do we just throw a spider on? Rip 0 3 lob 0 to 3 lobby. Yeah, <laughs> literally the frilled dragon is just like, hey, you're 0 to 3, screw you in particular. <laughs> okay, let's roll again. I'm uh I'm kind of unhappy with the current setup, but it's okay. We're we're in decent shape. We're we're getting exploded a bunch. My goodness. What a memer. What a memer that team was. Um I just need you to almost win. <laughs> okay. Let's throw on one of these, I guess, for now. Um I'm just trying to get a triple man. That's all I want. Is that so much to ask for? I don't think so. Let's roll again. And again. God damn it. It's so painful when there's like a million spiders that show up and it's like, I could have had all the spiders I could have ever dreamed of. <laughs> Would have been so nice. Okay, we lose these. But that's fine. They also had a frill dragon. Okay. That's our first loss. Um... I think we're going to consolidate this onto a single unit. And the ant is fine to hold on to. And my reasoning on that is basically that I can just mantis it later. And that's the hope. Okay, so we're going to set this up. Deer is huge. Deer is fantastic. That's going to keep the frilled dragon very relevant. Um... And we'll, we'll freeze this for another one of those. We can sell the beaver. And, uh, yeah, now we've got some good stuff going. This is actually really, really good now. I would still love to find a beaver to improve the cell. Pearl Dragon feels like a trap, but it's so good early. I agree, Pelgrin. It does feel like a trap. But at the same time, look at those fucking stats. Like, that's, that's so many stats. And I guess it is, like, fairly invested, to be fair. But, um, like, also not. That's an anteater. Oh, my goodness. I think you just want to buy cell units in this pack. It's insanely fast scaling, scaling with all the synergies. That's true, Calurisis. Um, but then again, this is kind of just what we're getting access to. Um, do we want the anteater as well? I could sell the cricket... And take the anteater. I think that's a reasonable play here. Here we go. This seems kind of wild. Uh, lol professional games. Uh, games become more uh, heavy farm with 20 minutes, no one dying in one to two game ending team fights. Yeah, I mean, you know. That, that is true, sexy girl, but, like, 
I'm not a professional player, so I don't know if that's really relevant to the argument of uh, game not fun. Okay, let's do one of these. Nice little buff. Um, we'll do a buy sell, I suppose. Hmm. That is... What do I want to go with here? Not sure. I could just can turtle. I think that's the play. I think this is it right here. But yeah, we can kind of leverage our frilled dragon into like a bunch of can scaling, hopefully, and then like pivot into a better team composition later. That's kind of the, the game plan that I've got in my head. We'll see if that works. Very interesting. Kind, kind of bad rolls, but still looking good. Okay. Let's do another one of these. I guess try food scaling now. Yeah, that's pretty much the game plan, Calyresis. It's just like giga food scaling. I think we keep the anteater no matter what here. So maybe I should grape up. But I, I think I'm just going to roll again. Eh, gonna roll hard. Okay, we got our mantis, finally. Um, I don't really have anything that I really want to sell. But we'll have to find something. I think we'll sell the turtle, because the ant buff is probably more th worth more short term. And we can find... Like, it, it's just... Is, is that actually a good idea? You need to lose now? No, I don't! plan is to just keep winning. I was gonna win forever, Sped Silver. That was my plan. We're at five wins now. Okay. Let's do one of these, and one of these. And that's a hyena. Hyena's very funny. I'd have sold deer and killed ant with turtle mantis. Sold deer, killed ant, and turtle with mantis. Yeah, I guess that's also a play. The deer doesn't have to stick around. We'll, we'll do that. So we'll do this first. Oh, I, <laughs> I guess I'll kill the ant first. Uh, can anyone explain to me what the weekly pack is? It, basically, it's a pack that's on a rotation. It changes every week. You can kill two things per turn. You think I should do this? Big swing turn? Oh, man. <laughs> it's scary, but I guess I could. I'd be minus one ant this turn. I guess that's okay. It would be- it mean I can get rid of the praying mantis faster, which would be ideal. And then we can focus on other animals. Which would also be very good. Um, we definitely want Crocodile. It's just way too good in this pack, I think. Should we freeze it? I think we will freeze it. I think it's just insanely, insanely good. It doesn't really match up with exactly what I'm doing, but... I want to mess around with it some more. It seems very strong. My goodness. <laughs> this, is, this looks like it might be an L. Uh... Okay, well, we'll take it. It's a draw. Okay. Double kill. All right. So those are good hits. Weekly new content. Yeah, weekly new content. Okay. So I think we... Mantis... Or we, we kill Mantis. Or get, sell it. And we sell Mantis. And then we buy this... And do we want the seal? I think seal's just kind of insanely pogged. Yeah, seal is very, very good. New pets coming out every week? No, they just like reformat the, the groupings essentially. Okay, we will roll and hope we get a new death proc. Okay, so we got another anteater if we want it. Why'd you get rid of Mantis? 
Wait, why did you get Mantis? To, to kill the old crappy death proc units, regen Sherm. So that way I could replace them with better units. That's why. Hyena would be funny. Hyena would be funny, but that doesn't make it good. Okay, let's do one of these. We'll freeze this. And we're going to keep one pepper for the seal. I don't know if this is the best. Yeah, this pack has no pills. That is the case. Alrighty. This is uh, looking very iffy. Maybe we'll be okay. Yeah, we're good. There we go. Hyena is the best Pokemon. Hyenas are crazy. They're really, really cool creatures. Um, let's see here. So we're, we're going to do one of these. That's a cat. Should we go cat instead of seal, maybe? It's probably the superior scaling method. Do both. What do I get rid of? The turtle? It's kind of psychic. Or sy psycho. I don't know. The t turtle? Okay, we, we don't need the turtle that bad. We're, we're going to go with this and then one of these. Because that's just good. Where? And then we're just going to freeze big foods. Psycho. I am psycho. Maybe Frill Dragon. I feel like the Frill Dragon... Yeah, it's, it's definitely outliving its usefulness at this point. Hmm. It's tough. It's tough to get rid of. Um, let's roll. We got big foods. Very big foods. Is Gachi Mukchi accepted within the alias box? I don't know what that is. I'm a little concerned that you're asking. <laughs> what? What? I don't know if I necessarily want to know. Yeah, I guess I could just replace the dragon with the gorilla. That's true. Might be the play. Melon probably would have been better on the anteater. True. I mean, it would have been better on a lot of things. Hindsight is twenty twenty. It's one of those things. All right. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, our, we, we just don't have enough stats on our uh, World Dragon at this point to deem it worthwhile, maybe. Hmm. Okay. Do I sell my dragon? I think I do. It seems like it's the, the path to victory. If we're, if we're trying to go all the way with it, it is the strat. Okay. Let's get a little bit more stats going out. Uh, we got more hot dogs. I think we'll freeze this. We want as much attack as possible on the seal. This looks pretty good. We've kind of transitioned our team away from the death proc setup, which I'm quite pleased with, honestly. Okay, this, this guy kept with it. Let's see what I'm missing out on. Oh, man. I think we lost. God damn it. Is that it? No, we're, we still have lives. We're in good shape. Kind of. Um, do one of these. Big hit. Big hits. Okay. Um, do I just popcorn something? I could just popcorn my cat. That seems like a good thing to do in this pack. Because it could summon something pretty good. I could also popcorn anteater. Can can you get the same unit out of a popcorn? I can't remember exactly how that works. Uh, you're on track for my bet in some ways, but it looks like uh, you're scaling or something. Yeah, I am trying to scale. That is the goal. Let's get some good scaling going. Hmm. I could put pineapple here. Which would eventually turn into a lot more damage. Pineapple croc, not amazing though. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. It's probably the best play. Alright. We got a, a big old bear in the background there. I definitely need to get some more uh, like defensive stuff going. Okay, we lived. We're up to eight wins. Which is pretty good. Um, let's do one of these. 
And do I... Th this is basically 6-6. Six, six. There's like no reason not to do this, even though it looks really dumb. It's still very, very good. You won, you can stop now. <laughs> Golden Banks. <laughs> Starting to sweat, huh? Starting to realize that there's a good chance. Croc double shots when you level it. Yeah, I'm I'm aware. It seems pretty good. Okay, let's let's keep the stats coming. Look at that. Okay. Seal seal is almost uh outlived its usefulness at this point, which is a little worrying. This guy has so many melons. Hopefully it doesn't matter. Oh! <laughs> okay, not even close. No more SAP lobbies. We're, we're doing lobbies. It's just uh, right now I'm doing bets because I think those would be fun. All right, we're at nine wins. Um, We're almost there. One more and we, we've done it. We've done it for the believers. Uh, let's do some rolling. I think this is the right play. Maybe. I don't know. I think I, I need to start refocusing my food. Maybe. No, I'm, I'm going to do it. I think it's fine. Salad is probably good enough. Is it, though? It is. Oh man, I gotta get more stats on this gorilla because he's he's just so low HP. Oh god damn it, the turkey lived. I need this croc to max out, man. It's not good enough. Okay, we we lose the turkey fly shenanigans. E, we're on lethal. We're on lethal. This is it. Okay, we got we got it. We got it. There's there's white tiger. Do we want white tiger? I don't think it's good enough. Let, let's just buy some food. Let's just buy some more food. Okay. This is it. This is for all the marbles, one way or another. Hopefully that level up was big enough. Oh, man. I'm going to make sure all the stats go into the gorilla. I think at this point, that point that's really important. Come on, crocodile. Snipe something big. This is it. This is for all the marbles. Okay. Well, um, we lose probably. Oh, do we lose? We draw. We somehow drew. Oh my God. <laughs> this is still going. Oh no. All right. This is a huge get. Big stats across the board. Let's, let's soup it up. Big soups, big soups, huge soups. Oh man, oh man, <laughs> who's gonna, who's gonna win this bet? Oh, it's a fucking giant turkey. It's dead though, we got it, we got the turkey. Let's go. This is it, we got him. We fucking got him, there's no way. 10 wins, baby, there it is. Pay out the believers. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. And with that, <laughs> the believers become incredibly wealthy. Imagine not believing. <laughs> oh my god, everybody just got hustled. Holy moly. I threw it on purpose. <laughs> I like 10 wins being by itself. It makes it more exciting. Yeah, that's the whole point, Niara. I like it too. I still maintain I made a good bet based on the information available at the time. Yep. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta look back into the past, though, Pelgrin. Think about how quickly I can adapt. You got 49k from that? Were you the only person who bet on Believe, Caliuresis? 49k from a 1k gamba? That's insane. This seems like a pyramid scheme. <laughs> I mean, it's it's definitely a very different betting system. But do, do you guys prefer it over like the 50-50? Dr. Crayon got a, a big payout too? Okay. It, was, it wasn't like a, an instant made millionaire then. Alright, uh, I'm gonna do a poll and you guys can, just, can decide what we do next. I'm gonna take a very quick BRB. Um... 
pick one. More arena betting, uh, or we can do some versus, and we'll we'll do the um, the weekly pack. And there's one minute on that. The betting system should absolutely be hidden, IMO. It should be hidden. What, what, what do you mean it should be hidden? How you doing, Viking? Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Scam betting is based. <laughs> I knew you would win since I could backseat you. Okay, there you go, Calyrexus. Big strat. Team victory for sure. I'll give you that. Looks like most of you want more betting. <laughs> uh, be more arena betting won by 70% sped silver. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I guess we'll just set it up the exact same as how I had it. Uh, start prediction. How many wins will I get? Um, let's see here. I think I'm going to keep it as is, because I do like that you have to have higher confidence in the higher bets. I, th I think it makes sense, even though it is lopsided. So I'm going to leave it like that. You're too lazy to play versus right now. You're lurking? All right, no worries, Bellbird. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate that. Alrighty, make sure you get your predictions in chat. How well will I play the video game? We're going to continue with the weekly pack because there's there's still like so many threads to pull. World Dragon early game into can spam did feel pretty good though, I must say. Next time I wouldn't uh, sacrifice the turtle onto the Frilled Dragon though. I'm surprised Anteater holds up so well in late game. It doesn't really feel like a late game unit. But I guess it is a tier 4. Scan betting! <laughs> Come on, Skull. You, you know you love it. You know you love it. Wow, nobody's gonna put down put down 10 on 0-3, to three, so that way you get some... Yeah, there you go. That's a shrewd better, whoever did that. That could be a big payout potential. Could yoink everything from everyone with one little move. Although I guess maybe you want to, like, save that... Okay, now there's three people doing it. Now, now it's not even a good idea anymore. Use my points so readily. <laughs> Don't let my 5k peer pressure you. Uh, have confidence. Yeah, I, I got this, CK. It'll be fine. 8 to 9 is like a, a really risky range. It might even be a riskier range than 10, honestly. Because, like, 
I don't know. If you get into late game, you can generally, like, kind of outplay people at that point. To some degree. We definitely had to make some crazy pivots. You're talking to the betters. Oh, I see. Okay. It's time for an an another arena run. Let's do this thing. Betors. Got double duck. Um... Duck meta. It's it's duck meta. We're we're living in a duck meta. It's uh we're we're gonna be the 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 the, the sizzling sardines. That sounds tasty, and I'm kind of hungry. I'm I like fish from time to time. It can be very tasty. It's the quackers. All right. Uh, let's roll. God damn it. Hmm. Let's go for double triples, hopefully. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, continue rolling. We are very, very unlucky. You actually like baby ducks more than normal ducks? Yeah, you can do some pretty cool stuff with them. Like, I could p freeze this pill, or this bluebird, and guarantee that it gets a plus six health, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, you could freeze any animal and then, like, roll once and guaranteed get plus six health on it, which is very, very fancy. Okay, yeah, this is a guaranteed L. That was just going to happen no matter what. I'm okay with that. Um, dromedary. Do we want, like, a giga dromedary? I think I'm game for that. Um, let's do one of these. Hmm. We could also make a big ox. But I, th I think I'm willing to just buy the ox. Let's do one of these. I think we make this cell, for sure. Okay. Then we buy these two. And... We'll buy a croissant. Put it there. And we'll do that. Little bit jank, but it should be good. I feel alright about this team. And we can also get another croissant on this dromedary, potentially, with all the stats that it has. But maybe I should have put the the stuff onto the ox instead. All the extra HP. But I, I think this should be fine for now. Uh, what's the drum for? Uh, well, I, I'm not sure just yet, Calyresis, but I'm hoping to scale something up. Uh, let's see here. Should I start stacking the shit out of damage on the ox, maybe? That might be a play. I think he's going to gain enough attack anyway. I could put a fried shrimp on here and be pretty happy. Some pretty decent attack. And that, that does help with the clearing some enemies. How much of this game is RNG? Uh, depends on the pack and the patch. Uh, and the mode as well. I think in 1 vs 1 there's very little RNG across a bunch of matches. Um, th there's a lot of skill involved, for sure. Ox would have been a good target if you wanted to scale something in the shop. True. I'm I'm still not used to doing the, the crazy scaling shenanigans yet. I gotta just try that at some point. We're rolling pretty hard here. We're not finding what we're looking for. I'm just gonna croissant this thing. Oh, man. <laughs> I might be getting myself into a little bit of trouble for now, but it's okay. 35% maybe less. Like I said, I think that there is like some skill dependency. Uh, there, there's a lot of things that can go right and a lot of things that can go wrong. Rat time? We're not doing rats. There we go. We got a dog. Now we're talking. Elephant looks better than ducks to me. True. Um, let's do some of this. Oh my. Okay. I'm gonna do one of these. Hmm. One of those. That. Am I gonna sell this one as well? I am. So I might as well sell it now. And take both of these. And then we'll... Do we want to scale a bluebird? Probably not. We can definitely do better than that. 
And let's just roll down a little bit. We don't have enough room for a shrimp, so that's fine. There's a cell unit, potentially. I'll freeze it and then roll. I don't normally like doing it that way, but that is what we're doing. I guess we're just doing dog gang again. <laughs> you could have given your dog two more health. God damn it, Niara, you're right. I just completely screwed up. I think shrimp is better than drum. Starfish is also good. Yeah. Even as a 6-7, it's probably still better in this composition. Do I freeze the guinea pig here? So I sell the, the dromedary. Combine these two. That gives us two slots, so I guess we can do that. Okay. Looks good. It's kind of a shame to lose a 7-7, seven, seven, but um, it's probably for the best. I definitely should have positioned my units a little differently. That's a mistake. Oh, well. Uh, I don't know what that is, sexy girl, and I feel like if you have to ask, the answer is probably no. You make money off the guinea pig? That's crazy. That is so crazy. Okay. Goodbye, drama dairy. So, we gotta buy this first, and th this doesn't proc off of it, so that's fine. So, buy this. And we do a, a double sell. And we'll buy this into this. Do another little sell. And now we can start scaling up some other units as well, which is really nice. I might want to just throw a garlic on the dog. I think that's a pretty reasonable move for now. Actually, no, I know that I'm gonna melon the dog. Let's be let's be real. This dog is getting a melon. Okay. That's that's pretty much as good as I could ask for. Um we don't have any cell triggers here, which is fine. Uh let's do something like this. I think for the lineup. That should be good. We've got some decent stuff. Some decent stuff going here. It's feeling pretty good. I'm a little concerned by what I'm seeing behind them. Oh, God. Yeah, that's that's a lose. That's quite the ox. I guess we kind of let their camel go off, which is a shame. Okay, these cost one, so that means they're basically free. So I should buy them even if they're not something I want to hold on to. Because we're, we're not losing money off of them due to their insanely low cost. Do I care about a polar bear here? Is that something that's relevant to this team? If I get like a starfish, I guess it could be good. And I guess worst case scenario, I sell something anyway. Um, I'm going to get some grapes. And then we'll do a little rolling. There we go. That's exactly why I bought the polar bear, actually. Was to buff this up. That's pretty much precisely what I was hoping for. It seems pretty good. It, oh, God, the turtle. Stork is so cracked. Holy moly. What a good unit. I think we, uh, we lose these. Yep, pretty handily. Damn, this is not looking near as good as the other one. This is really bad. Okay. So we do a buy sell. We could get buffalo here. Is buffalo worth it? Oh my god. It's it's kind of late. Like, look at how big my units already are. Maybe it's not worth it. I don't think I can afford to... I guess I could dump the ox. Is it worth dumping the ox for a buffalo? I think I need to win. We're on lethal. We we can't. It's it's just not worth it. It's too dangerous at this point. Thing things are hanging just in the balance. We're in a lot of trouble. Um okay, so I think we sell here and we just take the parrot for the turn and be quite pleased with that. And then we roll. And that's it. Hmm. Tempted to freeze the mantis because the chances a turtle shows up 
would would be I mean not the highest thing ever, but it would be really helpful. But I'm I'm not going to. We're gonna go without. Just remain itemless for now. Which is very scary. Yeah, their their dog has the No! Oh god, why? <laughs> We're gonna be okay. Yes, my fish is better. Thank god. <laughs> We're at four now at least. Come on, we gotta stay alive. We gotta stay alive. For the believers. Okay, this is a big one. A bi big value here. Look at all the stats. Um. Okay, I can't afford to go guinea. I don't have any room for it. At some point, I think I might need to get rid of this ox. My goodness, sexy girl. My goodness. Um, let's just roll. This is all bad. This is this is also not good. Please give me a cell trigger. That's all I ask. We are not getting any cell triggers to speak of. Um, we will roll one more time. And I guess we will roll another bird for this turn. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm not scaling fast enough. We haven't gotten our dog to level 2, which is really bad. It's rough trying to scale with that uh, that starfish. I mean, w look at all our half levels. We've, we've definitely gotten a little bit unfortunate at points here, for sure. Oh, no! God damn it, four wins. It's over. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I'm not having good luck with the, the buy-sell strategy with this. It does not feel very good, I must say. Damn it. Well, that's a big rip. Uh, let's see here. Four to seven gets paid out. There you go. Not enough units uh, to sell for starfish, I guess. I mean, even... Yeah, I guess. That's pretty much it. You had only uh, two level ones there. Yeah, I mean, look. Look at my team. Everything was half-leveled. I just got insanely unlucky. That is that is a big rip. It's okay. Let's just play better this time. I'm, I'm going to do the exact same prediction. And uh, I think this will be the last one of the night. We'll, we'll close up on this probably. Uh, my streams have been a lot shorter lately, and I do apologize for that. But it's it's just like my, my timing is off. I don't know what it is. Everything feels a little bit uh, like I'm like I'm doing things a little bit wrong, and I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> it sucks, but I'm I'm doing my best. I gotta like work on some YouTube videos tonight anyway. No more SAP lobbies. I mean, just because we're not doing SAP lobbies today doesn't mean there's no more SAP lobbies, sexy girl. Like that, you can have a day where you don't do a thing on a game, right? happens and I'm, I'm enjoying arena I haven't done uh, too much arena in a long time for the stream uh, for for this stream yeah we won't be doing any SCP lobbies I don't think I should probably take that out of the title shouldn't I <laughs> I think that is in there right now let's see Where? there we go okay let's see what we got here Lots of people voting on four to seven. Well, I guess not lots of people, maybe two people. And then we got uh, some people voting on 10, believing hard. Uh, no one on eight to nine, no one on zero to three. No, you, somebody should put down 10 on either one of those just for some free points. Come on, what are you doing, chat? You gotta wake up. Okay, it looks like there's um, enough time where I can just get started. All right, I'm gonna try Bluebird this time? Or I could try Beetle. I know Beetle Bluebird's like a combo. Let's try both of them. And then we'll just roll for more of them. I didn't get either of them, which does suck. Um. Hmm. 
I'm gonna roll hard because I want to keep these two fresh. Okay, that's beautiful. Uh, I don't even need the money anymore. I guess I could freeze the honey as well. Beetle is bad now except for 2-3. Um, gives Lethmo shop pet plus one health. Oh, yeah, I see that, Calurizus. That is quite bad. Huh. I don't think there's too much I can do about that. We're gonna go with the, the, the fishy mammals, because that doesn't make any sense at all, and thusly, it is funny. Uh, let's see here. I think we draw the- no, we lose these. Lamal. The only gambler with the 0 to 3 and 10. It's fine to just take for stats. Yeah, I suppose. Alrighty. The bet timer never synced properly. Weird. Okay, well, we should take it for a triple anyway. 1 to 810 odds. Let's go, baby. That's how it's done. That is how it's done. Seems to, to end at negative 15 for you. That's very janky. That's a that's a lot of bird buffing right there. <laughs> the bluebird is so goofy now. What the hell? What a strange way to balance the animal. But I, I guess it works. It makes sense. It was just too strong, I guess. As, as sad as it is to say. Um, okay. Let's do this. That's an animal. Hmm. Um, we should definitely do this, I guess. So, something along this line. Seems pretty good. Is there any way I can... I guess I could try to get the bear down to low HP. So that way it, like, dies to something. But uh, that would be for an extra honeybee. <laughs> Which doesn't seem logical at all. If you put the bear in the last slot, does that just make you lose sometimes? I think it would. It's okay with hippo and such. That makes sense, Fongor. I can see that. I don't think the hippo's in this pack, though. Let's see. Nope. Oh, maybe it is? I didn't see it. I haven't seen it yet, so... Wow. Their beetle was placed in a very good location. I got messed up. I got messed up there, big time. Alright. Um... Bluebird still seems like it's a good unit. Even now. Okay. So let's combine these two. We got a blowfish. <laughs> Which is something. I'm really not a fan, to be honest. Not a fan of the blowfish. No, it's so d tough to do the buy sell meta. Shrimp is pretty good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This shrimp might be a play. We can double down on the shrimps. Well, I'm not sure how worth that is. We'll see. Um, let's just roll. Gross. And there's another shrimp. Cool. And another shrimp. Do I need that many shrimp? When is too many shrimp? Not sure. But we're probably pretty close. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna just mass freeze shrimp, I guess. Shrimp only meta, let's go. Yeah, just only shrimp, never buy or sell anything. 200 IQ. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so dead. I should have taken the puffer fish. Alrighty. Um. I'm gonna do one of these. It's a fucking worm again. Why is it always a worm, dude? It's always a worm. <laughs> it's so bad. I did that wrong. I should have bought the shrimp first. I'm going minus one health here. And I deserve it. There we go. Alright. Um. Hmm. Do we garlic something or do we roll? We've got tier three, so I need that dog to show up like right now. Um, none of those are dogs, at least at first glance. Maybe if I look at it harder, it'll turn into a dog. Turtle seems like it's probably worth buying. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab that. And that seems pretty okay. 
Is dog the only way you know how to win with this pack? I mean, I definitely won without dog. The, my, my 10 win was no dog. It just seems like it's uh, the dog is a very effective method for this pack. And if we if God gives you a million shrimps, then you look for a dog to go with it. That's that's how that saying goes, I think. Um, there's a shell dog and a cow dog and a sting dog and a frilly dog. Yeah, bunch of dogs. There's a puppy. Yeah, I wonder if puppies are any good. Probably not. Probably awful, if I had to guess. Um, I guess I'll just croissant. Do a little croissant action right there. And, um... I do like a... A fish thing. A little bit. It's pretty okay. It goes bloop bloop. Um... Let's roll a little bit. That's another shell dog. I don't think that's really what we're after in life. Got a starfish, but that's definitely not what we're looking for. Look at that. Our our shrimp is looking kind of pog. Our shrimp's getting up there in stats. Oh, man. Oh, man. The trades. Oh, I don't like buy cell meta in this Caloresis. I keep trying it, and it does not feel right. Much regret. Okay, but we, we have an early buffalo, or as early as one can acquire said buffalo. So maybe that's the answer we needed all along. Um, I think we do one of these, and yeah, we're, we're just gonna buy sell like crazy here. And then we take this. And let's roll. Couldn't you get a buffalo? Wait, couldn't you get a buffalo when you can roll tier 3 by getting a level up or tier up? Yeah, I could have, but instead I got a fucking worm, Anani. <laughs> Goddamn game. Super troll. I'll freeze one of those, because I do like me a can. Alrighty. The bird and the shrimp are getting very large, for whatever odd reason. That's a... Very unfortunate use of a, uh, a, sh a scorpion, I must say. Oh, I, I see what you mean. I mean, er as early as I can without, like, insane RNG intervention. How about that? Does that sound better? No? It's a little too wordy? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, we should just be buying and selling things, I think. I'm just gonna buy this for the turn. And we'll roll. There's another can. Come back? It's possible, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened. Look at look at the, the bluebird shrimp love. They they adore each other. For whatever reason. They just can't stop helping one another. I lose. <laughs> it's over. I got so greedy. By selling, ra uh, by selling, ra by selling random units is pretty good here. Basically, everything is an owl. Yeah, that's that's fair, Callier. I should have played that different. Well, get wrecked. We did not play well in the end. I I have a lot to learn with this uh, weekly pack, but uh, I did have a lot of fun, and I hope you guys did too. Um. Super Auto Pets is in a really good place right now, and if you, like, played the game before and you want to come back and play it again, I would recommend it. Now is the best time to play it, I think, is uh, when everything's feeling fresh and new again. But, um, yeah, if, if you're new, it's also really fun. So, would recommend. I only doubt it because you told us the... Wow, x -Vec. Look at that. In insider trading, am I right? All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to call it there. I had a lovely stream today. Uh, Anani actually won that. That hurts my soul. <laughs> oh, God. Why? <laughs> oh, no. All right. Well, um, thank you all who made it to the end. I, I really, really appreciate you. And I hope you had a lovely day today. I'll see you all on Sunday for a, uh, a normal day of Noita plus whatever the hell I feel like. I... 
am feeling kind of done with Elden Ring, which has been our, like, second game for a long time. I might do a, a challenge run, or I might do, like, just different games from now on. Um, I don't know. I, I, I just want to do more variety. That's something that I, I really care about doing. And, um, you know, I, I love Noita immensely, but um, I don't know if I can make a living off of just playing Noita, right? It's very tricky. But, um, yeah, that's going to be all for now. Let's track someone down to raid and keep the good times rolling. Sorry, sorry if I'm wandering into that sort of territory again. Oh, it's always something that's in the back of my mind. It's like, hmm, how am I going to make rent this month? Uh, let's see here. Oh, look at that. Dark Viper's playing Super Auto Pets. Let's send you guys over that way. Dark Viper is a really cool guy. I haven't managed to interact with him too much, but um, it's really good to see him playing uh, some variety. <clears throat> Please go and make some noise for Dark Viper. Be as loud as you can, and uh, yeah, just, just show him some love. He's a very cool guy. And uh, yeah, he, he plays a lot of GTA, but he also enjoys some variety, including Noita from time to time. All right, I'll catch you all later. Boop.